unmutate. There we go. All right. Yay. It's game Can report. You show oh yes, gosh, sorry. Yeah, you're okay. Let you're me... okay. Share that with you. There we go. Thank you. Let me go to the <laughs> gameplay and go to Discarlet Hollow. Is everything green? Right. Let's see, hopefully everything is working. <laughs> yeah, we, my computer. Both of our volumes are on, both of our, or my camera is on, so we are cooking. Nice. Neo is off doing whatever, so we're, we're doing great. <laughs> Alright. Start. Oh my gosh, my name. Bab. Can I make it something funny? No, can I do so? Can I do like Big Daddy? That's what I did okay. yesterday, actually. That's fine. What did you play? Us? Oh, in your space game? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, perfect. Big Daddy Boy. I love that. You live in the city of. Ooh. What city? Big. Big Daddy City. <laughs> All right, we got Big Daddy Boy and Big Daddy City. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Where are they, dumb? Okay. You know, we're Big Daddy. Oh, talk to animals! Oh my god, Hot. select two Wait. traits. Hot. Wait, hold on, Hot. hold on. A natural flirt. <laughs> okay. Obvious. We oh, gotta I'm be sorry. hot. Big Daddy is hot. Everyone knows it. Oh, does Big Daddy have to be strong, though? Okay, wait, though. You can talk to animals. A gift and a curse. Street smart. Know how to lie. Well, he's slick and convincing. Is Big Daddy slick and convincing, or is he thick? I feel like Big Daddy would be a himbo. Okay, he's like a himbo. A they them himbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> it's already falling apart. This is your fault. Oh, I think it's funny. <laughs> you wanted to name us Big Daddy. I didn't even read that. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I need to, uh, yeah, I forgot to, I read it in my head. I'm sorry. Okay. For a moment, you're hazy on the details of where exactly here is, confusing the bus with many others that came before it. But as your mind continues to reassert its existence in the waking world, the past few days came back and come back into focus. It's just like when you wake up for a nap and you have no idea where you are. You're just in a whole other world. <laughs> the long lost cousin, the bad news, the 26 hours of bus rides with countless late night stops and seedy depots, depots that felt unsafe even in the middle of the day. You wouldn't normally find yourself traveling like this, but your cousin bought the tickets. Amen, cousin. Okay. That's what I like to hear, bro. <laughs> the f uh, you know, like if someone else buys it for me, I will do whatever you want me to. Oh my God. The funeral of Pearl and Scarlet, your cother cousins, mother, and your aunt seemed like something you shouldn't ignore, even considering your own late mother's rocky relationship with this side of the family. I mean, you oh. can. You can't ignore it if you want to. Family is, you know, people, yeah. Fuck them. Fortunately, the end of your long journey is in sight. You're almost in Scarlet Hollow. Oh, so we're heading to the funeral. So anyway, as I was saying, it says, this is a strange, yeah? Are they hot? Oh. No. It's one of these. Oh no, <laughs> he's still here. <laughs> he's been sitting next to you for the past five hours, talking at you without pause. He got his grippers out. <laughs> his grippers? See his toes? His toes. Oh my god, we've got toes. Confirmed toes on stream. <laughs> You're not sure he even stopped when you started to doze off. At first you thought he was just being friendly, but that was several hours of one-sided conversation ago. This is like the person I worked with. Oh my god. <laughs> no shade. <laughs> thought they were being friendly, and then... Oh. oh, Maryland. That's right next door to me. I was up in Maryland looking for work, but mostly messed around because I was a dumb teen. Me and my buddies were doing our usual prank stuff, you know, pushing joggers into the harbor. <laughs> that sort Better of thing. be careful while you're jogging, you might get pushed into the harbor. You never know what happens out here, okay? It's fucking, it's used... a lawless land. What does this shirt say? I want to, yeah? I think so. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what, what do we say to this? Wait, what? Dude, what's wrong with you? Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. Why are you, Why are you talking? talking to me? That one. <laughs> Why are you talking to me? <laughs> well, listen, do we want... What What side of, like, Kimbo do we want to be on? Do we want to be like, oh, yeah. Do we like, want to be nice or do we want to be mean? Hmm. We can... Well... Because a real Kimbo would say, hell yeah, that sounds awesome. But I would say, why are you talking to me? 
He's gonna be like an edgy. Bro, how about he's that? Be edgy? We're, okay. He's like a tall gotcha. edgy. Gotcha, gotcha. We can just like picture Zongli or whatever. Or, Zongli? Or okay. Dooley. You know, and it's. Dooley. Dooley. Hi, Luke. <laughs> Why are you talking to me? Big Daddy Boy. <laughs> it looks like a bird. <laughs> yeah, I don't like his face. Oh my god. Why wouldn't I talk to you? We're on a bus. Buses are one of the best places to meet new people, hands down. You're the only person left to meet. Good for Don't me. Don't talk to you. Oh. So this girl comes up to <laughs> comes up to us swinging her purse. You're like... Okay. I hope... What? Neo? I... Are Is you okay? okay? I don't know. I heard a I crash, heard but it's okay. <laughs> check on him? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me just go check it real quick. Make sure he didn't get hurt himself. Neo has been causing problems today. So, uh, he was gripping a it's light fine. bulb. Okay. What did he knock? Did he knock something over? I think he jumped on top of the uh, counter and just made a, now a loud noise. Oh, okay. Because he was up on top of the cabinets. Okay. We're good. Everything's fine. Okay. She actually hit my friend and he said it hurt a lot, so I guess she really was mad and not just playing. Wow, crazy. Most people who hit you with their purse are not playing. You would think people would know. And yet here we are. <laughs> but she kept swinging and soon enough she lost her balance and fell into the harbor all on her own. We didn't even have to push her. I'm gonna push you off this bus. We got a good laugh and fished her out and her phone got soaked so she couldn't call the cops on us. We wound up hanging out all day. Okay. She kind of became oh. a girlfriend after that and we've been on and off for about a year so it's pretty serious. <laughs> Look at that, what a, hmm. what a first, like, I don't know, on a good way to meet people. Yeah, that's, that's kind of sauce, buddy. Like, are you actually dating or do you just think you are? Or whatever. That's what I was wondering. So about five months ago, she tried to break up with me, like for oh uh, well, like for real. And geez, you ever get so mad you just want to like kill somebody? Buddy. We got red flag. Incel. Hot. Did he say she tried to break up with him? You can't even begin to imagine what that might feel like. Nobody's ever broken up with you. So is this our hot? <laughs> That's so our just talking. That's our hot. Um. Uh skill I think or skill tree thing that we that's picked. funny nobody would ever break up with us never we're a himbo <laughs> okay that's funny I kind of feel like killing someone right now but you know we gotta we gotta go with the hot right or what's wrong with you I think let's go with hot okay just go that's with the hot one since we picked that yeah Yeah, no, sorry, I need to read it. I keep forgetting. But if anyone ever okay, does I try can... to break your heart, you might be surprised by how it changes you. Okay. I honestly could have killed that woman. Dude. Dude. Oh! Anyway, she's giving birth to our son right now, so I'm trying to get him to Virginia to be there for it. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. But I don't know if I'm like into that stuff, so I might wind up on a bus to New York or something instead. I've always wanted to go there. You don't know if you're into having a child? This is really bad. Buddy, this is not a good, like... <sighs> Intimidate. Um, Intimidate. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I want to read all the options, though. Okay, okay, so we have Intimidate. Get your act together. Well, then we have yeah, What's one. Wrong With You. Let's intimidate him, because, man, if you want to impregnate somebody... And then you'll be like, oh, I don't want to do it. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck, fuck you, you, actually. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. And just be a real fucking person. Get your act together. Oh! Big Daddy yes. Boy's not fucking around. Oh my god. Okay, menace. I cross my arms and glare at the young man with menace in your eyes. Heck Go, yeah. you know, with the, the angry look. It's fine. Don't look. That's true. Your son and your girlfriend will not always be waiting for you perfect now she can have support raising a child and want to be a single mother 
Crazy but honestly, might be better off for her to be a single mother. Because <laughs> this dude sucks. <laughs> Anyways, where did you say you were headed? <laughs> um, oh, four bagos. Hello. We're just oh, playing hey. this uh, this little mystery horror game. Um, we're not sure. We're not sure. We're just talking to a creep right now. And it's very unfortunate. <laughs> Anyways, where did you say you were headed? I didn't. Scarlet Hollow, just a small town. You probably haven't heard of it. Don't answer. I don't think we should tell him where we're going. Should I go for I didn't or don't answer? Just don't answer. We're just not. We're just gonna agree. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Hmm. We do not stand him. If you aren't getting off at my stop, then you must be headed to Scarlet Hollow, right? Or the Hollow, oh. as they call it in these parts. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's the only other stop until the bus turns around. I ride it pretty often, so I'd know. Almost nobody ever goes up that way, though, actually. Well, our plan did not work. Had a couple of buddies up there. Or a wait, okay, let me read. I had a couple of buddies <laughs> who went up there to work in the mine. There's a coal mine up in the holler, you see, and there's always a job listing or two on the boards around here. Okay. Never wanted to do that kind of thing myself. I like my lungs the way they are. Thanks, but my buddies got desperate enough to try it. Oh, I read that wrong, but it's fine. You're good. I haven't heard from them in a while now that I think about it. I should see if they're on Facebook, see how they're doing up there. Oh, I dropped some Facebook. <laughs> I know, naming. the name dropped it. I Hope they didn't die. That. Well, that's... this dude, I don't like him. This dude actually really sucks. Yeah, look at your phone. Oh, I didn't even Oh my god, bye. Oh, this is me. It was lovely meeting you. Hope you don't get too bored without me around to talk to. No, we'll have some peace. Here, I have something for you. What? If you pull out like a gun or something. Or like a knife. What? Is it peanuts? Oh, peanuts. Okay. Yay. I love peanuts. A dripping. Oh, they're boiled peanuts. Ew! <laughs> I got them in a gas station a few buses back. <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting. Boiled peanuts are good, but like day old boiled peanuts. You're supposed nothing. to refrigerate them. <laughs> So I don't want... To, okay, plus they dripped all over my bag, so I don't want to carry them anymore. Tip, sometimes picking a dialogue option establishes new facts about who you are. Are we allergic to peanuts? Protein is protein. Take nice! <laughs> Take the peanuts, no thanks. Screw you and screw your peanuts. I'm actually allergic to peanuts. Let's say screw you and screw your peanuts. Amen. <laughs> Are you gonna force me to have the peanuts? Hey. Oh my god, he forced me to have Ew. the peanuts. The young man sets the peanuts down on the empty seat next to him. The juices dribble out through the bottom of the bag and into the upholstery, instantly soaking it in peanut brine. Delicious. Delicious. And with that, I leave you. Safe travels, friend. Bye. Why are you still being nice to me? Oh, that's disgusting. That image is horrible. Just like that, you're alone. The stranger's peanuts soaking into the seat across from you. <laughs> mm. Okay. Tasty. Maybe you can finally get some sleep. The bus driver says, next stop, Scarlet Hollow, end of the line. Almost there. Okay. That was a fun interaction. I did not enjoy any minute of that. <laughs> The bus finally comes to a stop, its brakes squealing as it deposits you in front of the Scarlet Hollow bus station. Alright. The sign at least reads bus station, but calling it that feels disingenuous. At best, it's a kiosk, though for a small town like this, you're amazed there's so much as a road, let alone a bus that drives, it, that drives on it every week. <laughs> the driver quickly shuts the doors behind you and starts the engine, kicking up dust clouds as he pulls away, eager to leave you and this place behind. Dang, I guess Scarlet Hollow is kind of a, uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, Big Daddy Boy. <laughs> you, you have brought this upon yourself. Now you have to read that every time. Do you want to read her part? Nope. No? <laughs> no. I'm good. Okay. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> hey, Big Daddy Boy. <laughs> 
You instantly recognize the young, the worn young woman from the few public photos on her Facebook page. She's your cousin Tabitha, and she looks annoyed to be here. We also have an extremely loud siren going by outside. Oh, okay. wonderful. Ambiance. Okay, there they go. Alright, so she's our cousin Tabitha, and she is not happy to see us. Oh, no! <laughs> no! 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 Big Daddy! <laughs> no! This is not okay, Big Daddy. You can't charm your cousin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. No. Okay, so we That's have Charm not, Her. Yeah. Make a good first impression with a winning smile. <laughs> a firm handshake. <laughs> Looks like somebody needs a hug. Absolutely not. Hey, Tabitha, give her your condolences or remain silent. Um, hmm. I think we should either say, hey, Tabitha, or give her our condolences. Definitely none of the first three. <laughs> well, I really want to give her a firm handshake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's a himbo. Okay. He's coming in there, you know, he's like, she's like, oh, I'm depressed, you know, like, or, you know, my, somebody's died. Is that her mother? Her mother died, yes. Okay, her mother died. Maybe not a handshake then, that might not be. Yeah. That might not yeah. be best, but... Yeah. <laughs> Charmer. Nope. <laughs> so funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I think maybe giving our condolences, but she kind of looks mean. She does but look mean. I'll just start off be on the, the right nice foot. Do. If she throws this back in my face, then I'm gonna, you know. We'll see. Okay, I'm so. Oh, see, that face is not a good face that she's making. I'm so sorry no, for your loss, like Tabitha. Mom. Yes, great. Thank you. Okay. Let's get back to the estate. I don't want to spend any more time down here than I have to. So we got some estate action. Hang on, you're my. It's glitching. Let me leave and come back real quick. Okay. You all good? Yeah, it's like. The, like, overlay keeps coming in. Yeah, okay, I guess that's just part of it, whatever. Like, your little, like, cursor keeps blinking on and off on my screen, but. Oh, that's fine. Right. I was wondering if maybe that would fix it, but it didn't, so. It doesn't bother me, so it's alright. Okay, I'll keep my mouse moving. <laughs> your cousin turns and motions to an old BMW parked near the bus kiosk. You follow her clambering into the dusty relic. Okay, depending on how old this BMW is, it might be a classic, so. <laughs> you better watch yourself. Okay. Yeah, that's a classic. It's a classic. It's a classic. It doesn't take much driving before the only signs of civilization are the car you're in and the road you're on. Tabitha maintains an icy silence as she focuses on the road. That sounds well, like my fun. hometown. <laughs> Exciting. What were you going to say? What? What were you going to say? Oh, I said this is fun. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is so great. Okay. Dialogue options labeled Explorer can usually be taken without advancing the story. They can impact relationships and unlock additional story paths, so choose carefully. Okay. Alright, so... Depending on how... Dickish I sound, I guess. Let's try not to sound dish. Dick, dickish. Dickish. So, see, this one would probably not be good. I guess we're both members of the Dead Moms Club now, huh? Oh. Do you think that you think that would be a good one to say? No. <laughs> so the funeral. I can't believe we've never actually met before this. Uh, well, you know. I think asking how she's doing. Okay. Okay. Not... Maybe asking how someone's doing after their mother has died is probably unless the she doesn't thing. like her mom. That's the thing. But I don't want to, like, accidentally offend her. Okay, we'll just ask how she's holding up. Ask how she's holding up, and maybe she'll say it. We'll see from there. How are you holding up, says Big Daddy Boy. Fine. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what's... So we have, you know you can talk to me. I lost my mom, too. Okay, but if that ever changes, I'm here for you, alright. And a few good to hear. <laughs> Definitely not the last one. Okay, that's um, fair. Might not want to be that dickish. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm torn. I, I don't know. 
I feel like the second option is better. Yeah, we don't want to make this about us. Yeah. Okay, so I say okay, that. Okay. I'm here for you, alright, even after I go home, if anything. Yeah, happens. I like that, I like that. Sure. Okay. Well, Tabitha is you know not... What? She's been... It's traumatic. She lost a parent. That's well, that's a lot. Uh, the thing is, is, she looks less sad and more furious. Annoyed. Listen, funeral arrangements, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. So maybe, maybe that's, that's what's going on, you know? I'm gonna ask, can't believe we've never met before this, just because, you know, it's like, you know? Okay. okay. You know? Can't believe we've never actually met before this, Tabitha, you know? If you have a cousin named Big Daddy Boy and you never meet them, like, something's wrong with you. You have your mom to thank for that, or had, I guess. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's true, I guess, because my mom didn't like their side of the family. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, Death Mom's Club. <laughs> no, no. Maybe okay. we should get, maybe know, like, what the bad blood is? Or is it too soon? I wish I'd known or about you. Or is really asking if, like, there's bad blood between the, them as cousins? Yeah, okay, so, like, Despite between us. Despite their moms, yeah. We can get through this. It's not me that was a problem. All I know is my mom left. Okay, I'm sorry, but is there bad blood between us? All I know is my mom left and she was mad at this side of the family, but I don't know much besides that. Oh, she looks very upset. Uh oh. <laughs> Your cousin stares ahead, her expression icy. Okay. Um maybe we should maybe we should stop. So the funeral. Or do you want to I no, want to ask her about the funeral. I'm Okay, okay. It's on Sunday, right? Yep, like I told you. Okay. Need any help planning? Yeah, that, I think that might be nice. That's a nice... Need any help planning. If you ever need help with errands or scheduling, feel free to ask. I know this stuff isn't easy. Big Daddy Boy is so nice. Good, good, good. He is such a, a good guy. I feel like she's going to take this stuff as offensive. Okay. Ooh, it's actually been fine. Just needed the coffin and somebody to dig a hole. <laughs> well, I don't think okay. she liked her mother, but I could be wrong. That's that's you know, the gist to... I I'm know. getting. We will still be respectful. <laughs> that's fair. No dead mom, <laughs> mom club. I I just don't think that's a good one. But we'll, maybe she'll we'll make her laugh. That. I don't know. Well, just I feel like that's yeah. You decide to sit in silence as you're with your cousin as the car eases up the steep mountain road. Okay. She's about to drift up this mountain. Oh dear. Or our house that's half falling off the cliff. I want to get some, some like <laughs> architects up in here, some engineers yeah, for, for this, sure, for sure. this little half She's of the house little, right, right there. She's a little saggy. <laughs> She's a little saggy. <laughs> Saggy. And here it is, the you know, Scarlet Estate. Though it's seen better days, its crumbling elegance is not lost on you. Someone used to cramp departments in gray cities. Damn. I, you couldn't pay me to step foot in the house. I would much rather have my cramped apartment in a gray city. Oh, than... yeah. At least you know you're on stable ground and one yes. bad rainstorm isn't going to crumble your <laughs> entire infrastructure. <laughs> Your mother told you about this place many times before she passed, always with an anger burning beneath her words. Maybe the mother was, like, abusive or something. Or wait. Well, this is our mom. So That's said true. That. And this is the aunt. So I wonder, I guess... This is the aunt's house. Yeah. So I think it may have something to do with what's, like, inside the house. The faded majesty you once imagined it doesn't quite compare with what's in front of you. A jarring blend of opulence and ruin. As you stare at it perched... On the crumbling cliffside, you can't help but feel like something something that should have been left to rot a long, long time ago. Like it's something that should have been left to rot. Yeah, I think at some point, you know, I think you just need to throw in the towel at some point. Yeah. So they will. It's She's fancy, had a good run. Though. It is fancy. Got a horrible painting there. Oh, there's a dog in the painting. Oh, there's a dog. And there's a dog in the one on the top, thing. too. Oh, the doggy. That's cute. Whew. So make dogs. You're hit with a... Oh, gosh, okay. 
You're hit with a blast of dusty air as you step across the threshold into the foyer. 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 Everything in this room has been here for much longer than you've been alive. Each object cemented in place with layers of dust and cobwebs. You can hear door creak, doors creak on their hinges. 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 I can read. I promise <laughs> I can do it. And the aches and moans of ancient floorboards as the house itself sways in the wind. That's what I want. Alright, Tabitha. I love how, like, not give a shitty you are. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. She's just like, ah. For Welcome sure. to our Hamley's, family's humble estate. <laughs> Hamley. <Our> Hamley. <laughs> Hamley. <laughs> you know, the Hamley. <laughs> Hamley. I'm gonna close out of Discord and come back in because it's flashing a lot more now and it's bothering me. So give me oh one second. Oh my gosh, second. Discord is not happy. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I hope it's not my internet, but it's unknown to me. Shit, that... Well, that doesn't help. Let me try this. We, we always like having technical difficulties for no reason. Um, you know. It's like our internet's fine, our computers are fine. And yet, alas, they don't work. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just deal with that. That's really Still weird. Still doing it? Yeah. I don't Let know. Maybe I need to reset my computer. Let me just share my screen with you. Is that better? Yes. Okay. Cooking. All right. Back to Tabitha and her hand emotions. Okay. Unfortunately, due to the current state of the house, only a few rooms will be safely accessible during your stay. Love to see that. I don't like that. The I stairs wouldn't... are even crumpled. Uh, yeah, there's like holes in them and the posts are <laughs> broken. Like, this is not up to code, I don't think. Yeah, I'm good. No thanks. I wouldn't go wandering anywhere else if you value your limbs. The floors have been known to give out. Hmm. Uh, nice. I want to fall through the floor off a cliffside. If you know what's good for you, you'll stick to your room, your bathroom, and the kitchen. And hallways, I guess. Well, we gotta explore now. Tabitha, you're just, you're giving me, like, I need to see this house. But only the hallways you need to use to get to those places. Gosh, Tabitha, chill out. You don't get to tell us what to do. Yeah, you're just our cousin. I'll rob you. I'll take all your stuff. Big Daddy Boy is... <laughs> Why are we robbing her? nothing. He does not care. He will, he, he's gonna rob her blind. I'm just gonna tell you. Okay, I'll show you around so you know where it's safe to walk. You can leave your bags here for the time being. That's just so... sus. Okay, so we can say, oh man, this place is huge. I can't wait to unwind. Cool, thanks. So you live here. It's beautiful. Why it's beautiful? <laughs> this place is falling apart. I thought you were loaded. Can't you afford to fix this dump and remain silent? So we got a lot of options here. I don't really like any of them, to be honest. Okay, so this place is huge. That's not... I mean... Okay. Cool, thanks. Does the chat have any ideas? Is there any ideas on this one? Because this is a little... A tough one. I'll show you around so you know where it's safe to walk. You can leave your bags. Then we just have, like, a bunch of random... Maybe we should just say cool things. Maybe or ask her if she the... lives here. The least offensive <laughs> to ask. Yeah. Because it's not beautiful, and she probably knows that. Yeah. I mean, it probably once was. Yeah. This is very aggressive. That's not okay. This is also probably not good. Yeah. Okay, we'll just go with cool things then, I guess. Okay. Oh, she does not look happy. Oh, you're okay. She just doesn't like anything we say. I'll follow you, Tabitha. Give me a tour. Also, I think this game is all hand-drawn, so that's really cool. I think it is. I believe I saw that on the Steam page. You put your bags down and follow Tabitha through a long, dusty hallway. She delicately steps over holes and tears in the floor, and you, you do your best to trace her steps. She's just gonna let us fall. She didn't give a shit. Kitchen. 
a woman <laughs> that's okay on wednesdays a woman from town comes in and does the cleaning her name is janie there's a kitty okay. i got a little kitty oh there is a, it's neo it's neo where's that little oh he's still on his cabinets okay <laughs> i wouldn't recommend socializing with her she'll talk your ear off if you need any food there's fixings for peanut butter and jelly mm, my favorite oh delicious uh, that cat is pissed he's got a little mustache <laughs> His little mustache boy. He's got his little beard and everything and his little <laughs> chest hair. So cute. cute. Don't touch my mac and cheese or my ice cream. Those what are the off heck? limits. You, you gotta share, Tabitha. Come on now. You can access the garden through here, but it's pretty wild, so I wouldn't if I were you. Okay, so some explore options prevent you from taking others. That's fair. Oh, I want to see the garden. Someone cleans this place. This place is nasty. It's nice. It's perfect. I would love some PB&J. Is there somewhere to buy food? What if I want ice cream? Alright, what's next? That's what I'm wondering. What if I do want ice cream? What about buying food? Yeah, let's see. I might want to eat something other than PB&J this week. Is there somewhere in town we can get groceries? Yeah, that's... Well, aren't you fancy? I okay. My food tastes are trash, and I would not want to eat PB and J for all week. That's un yeah, honestly. Well, aren't you fancy? Yeah, there's a general store. There's also a diner. I usually order my food in bulk online, though, so I wouldn't be going with you. Okay, that's fine. Just give okay. me your car. We didn't want you to go with us, but I'm your guest. <laughs> that's really funny. Let's just say sweet things. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only good option. <laughs> Sweet. Cool, good talk. Alright, Tabitha. Great. There's no this need is... to be a bitch. I want you to go away. <sighs> it's nice. That's like the only it's other not... option. Yeah. That isn't like a complete dick thing to say. I'm just gonna try it's nice just to see what she thinks. Okay, this is so nice. It's so much bigger than what I'm used to in the city. Is that a kitchen island? I guess from your perspective, then yes. It okay. is, thank you. She doesn't look too upset. She looks... Okay. We'll just move on. Should I do one of these, or should we just go for it? I mean, I think we should just do the next one. Okay. Alright, what's next? What's next on the tour, Tabitha? What you got for a big daddy boy? <laughs> Bathroom, follow me. Oh dear. <laughs> it's been hours since I've gone, says uh -oh. Big Daddy Boy. We're out of wet our britches. As the two of you leave the kitchen, you pass by a tuxedo cat sitting on the countertop. What a little baby. Pet the cat. Oh, pet the cat. 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 It bit me. It slapped me. <laughs> she bites you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I wouldn't have it any other way. Maybe we should have asked about the cat. Nope. If you ever see a cat, always reach out and pet it. No, no matter how no, mad it looks. Don't. Please don't. No matter how mad no, it looks. No matter how rabies ridden it are, looks. Stop. No. Stick no. your finger Aiden, in its mouth. Listen, listen. <laughs> Even if you get bit by a cat and they've been vaccinated for rabies, you still have to go to the ER. Stick your finger because in Because bacteria there. can get like deep inside your tissue and get infected. And you could probably If you see hand, a cat, so. pet it. That's all don't. I gotta say. That's all no. I gotta say. No. That's all I gotta say. No. If you see a little black kitty with a red collar and his name is Neo, pet that boy. He's, He's very him. lost if you see that cat. He's very Please lost. Please bring him back. <laughs> Please bring him home to me. <laughs> he will try to live with you. He has a home. Yeah, do not let this man. <laughs> He's not being social today. It's so sad. Okay. So Tabitha sighs about this whole situation. This just happens about me getting bit. Well, thanks, Tabitha. Fru fru! fru, -fru. <laughs> As you've now learned, you should not pet Fru Fru. If she wants to be pet, she'll let you know. Well, Fru Fru, fru, -fru? does not have a choice. Because I'm a pet this damn I guess, cat. I guess we should have seen if she wanted pets, but it's okay. Yeah, like 100% knew that was going to happen, but it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, the look on that cat's face, so it was not, not a happy look. <laughs> You once again follow Tabitha through a long, dusty hallway. Maybe after a few nights, it'll get easier to navigate these spaces. 
but for the time being, you feel lucky to have not fallen through the floors. Hmm. Hey, it's silver linings. So, you know, there you go. That looks so clean. Guest bathroom. Not much to show. It's a bathroom. I'll wait outside. Do what. <laughs> do what you must if you must. <laughs> oh my okay. god. That's. The toothbrush is in a wine glass that like has wine in it or something. This place is shitty. <laughs> I don't care how big it yeah, is. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Why would you say do what you must if you must? Oh god. Oh, there's so much hair dye. It is oh, a wretched bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. Piles of junk sit untouched in the corners of the room, and mystery stains paint the floor. Mm. Oh. It's probably not too mysterious, honestly. This is nice. very bad. This is the worst bathroom. I like this bathroom. <laughs> Never mind, I don't need to go. <laughs> Let's toilet seat. Wait, wait. Um, who uses maybe it? Maybe we should. Or yeah, what? I guess we could ask who uses it. Yeah, that's a good Just because I just want to know. Where. Yeah, there's a lot happening on there's that There's a lot site. going on. Who exactly uses this bathroom? Asks Big Daddy Boy. Guests. Okay, I should have seen that. Who are, Who is coming? Who are the guests? That's all we get. You want to see if the toilet works? Are we sure this toilet works? The water bills get paid, therefore the toilet works. That's not how that works. <laughs> that is very wrong. <laughs> yes. Considering the copious amounts of water, or whatever... You know, yeah. it yeah. might not work. Yeah. But it's so crusty. <laughs> it's a damn fact, okay. I'll just I'll just sigh, okay. Okay. That's the spirit. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> let's lift it. Let's just yeah, I'm sure there's something in there. Oh nice. Oh, nice. oh bugs skittering from the bowl as you no. lift your seat. I'm gonna do it. My business needs doing, and this is as good a place as any. And I do what I must, <laughs> if I must, <laughs> and rejoin my cousin in law. Okay. Did she just stand there and watch? Like, <laughs> I know, right? To be knuckled the door, like she just okay. Okay, Bye. Tabitha. You know we're family, but we're not that close. Right. Guest bedroom. One last stop on our tour. You and Tabitha were briefly returned to the foyer before climbing the stairs and reaching the guest room. We got Lady Dimitrescu on the wall. Oh my god! <laughs> the room this smells perfect. Old. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> That's a true woman right there. Oh, we have one of these. Those little, like, furniture with the little Fancy ridged desk. things. Those are so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The room smells oh, old. There's a name for those. It's very fun. I would never want one, but it's fun to see. <laughs> uh, dust, mildew, wood rot. It has it all. A week of sleeping in this place might give you permanent lung damage. Mm. Oh, nice. Get that old black mold in my lungs. Just destroy every bit of cilia or whatever in my lungs. Just implode them. Thank you. This is where you'll be staying. The linens are fresh. I had Janie wash them last week. Great. Had to endure a half hour rant about her kid to get her to do it, so you'd better be grateful. We're so grateful. Thank you so much, Tabitha. The closet is full of old family stuff, so you can't hang your clothes up, but you can use the dresser. It should be empty. Okay. Is the closet that full? Amazing. <laughs> this room is amazing. This room is nice. Thank you. Let's to be fair, you sleep. this is better. Okay. That's a lie. What? That one. Well, like... It says it's a lie, but to be fair, this is better than, like, the other rooms in the house. We don't want to lie to her. I, I know. I would never let's, lie to Tabitha. Let's say, yeah. Who used to sleep here? When? This house is almost 150 years old. Many, many people have slept here. Okay. How old is that mattress? <laughs> it's got, like, the indentations from the, uh... It really does. Like, I'm a little, you know? I don't like the idea of sleeping on someone else's mattress like that. And now you'll sleep here, carrying on the fine tradition of bedrooms being slept in. There's no need to be a bitch, Tabitha. At all. I'll ask if she needs help, but that's like yeah. the only... There's a lot of boxes and stuff lying around here. I could help you move things around and fix the place up. 
Look, I appreciate the offer, but Janie already comes in once a week. It's fine. Janie does not do a good job. Yeah. Just because Janie comes here does not mean anything gets done. Okay. Is that is that about all we got? Yeah. I guess I'll start to get settled. Maybe she'd like us if we didn't talk. Right, we just never explore any questions. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. I'll take you back to the foyer so you can get your belongings. This concludes our tour. I'm afraid I must return to my duties, so you'll have to entertain yourself for the rest of the day. If you had internet, then I would be fine. <laughs> Don't expect to see me much of the time. Tip. Some dialogue options will open additional conversation paths. Some right away and others down the line. Okay. Okay. D nope. Can I please say that? No. Please, I'm gonna say it. Read the rest of them. Read the I'm rest. Gonna of them. Say it. Don't you do. Okay. So, hey, is it cool if I bring someone over at some point this week? Explore. Where are you going? What am I supposed to do while you're gone? Are you sure you can't take the day off? Did I do something wrong? Why are you being such a jerk to me? Are you sure you're okay? And then just ending the. I think we should ask if she's okay. But maybe if it's like, can we bring someone over, we can bring someone over, you know what I mean? No, it's like, if you say that, you open up the path to bring someone over. Okay, I'm gonna say this one, and then I'm gonna ask about bringing someone over. I'm okay, gonna be like, okay. are you okay? And she's gonna say yes. I'm gonna be like, so, can I bring someone over? Can I bring my sneaky link over? Sneaky link? Okay, she just needs to get back to work. I don't know what your job is, but that's fine. Okay, go have fun at your job. Hey, so is it cool if I bring someone over as I'm going this week? Just like, on the DL, you know? Just like, you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? You don't even know anybody <laughs> that lives here. I got a Not whole yet. week, Tabitha. A whole week. <laughs> What's your smooching policy? <laughs> That's really funny. For a meet cute. I don't know what that means. If you're not going to be around, I'm going to go make friends. I'm a social butterfly, Tabitha. <laughs> wink! <laughs> I didn't even see the wink. That's really funny. Should These I wink? all horrible. No. That'd be awful. <laughs> Can I ask about the smooching policy? Sure. I guess that's respectful to ask. What's your smooching policy? <laughs> Her face. <laughs> Her face. Smooching policy. You know, that's fair. I thought you were here for a funeral. Okay, I can't even <laughs> believe I even okay. have to say this, but please don't bring someone home to you know. Okay, now we know. Let's just forget you said anything. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. You want to ask her if she's going? Yeah, I think that's the only... Because I'm not going to ask her to take the day off. Well, I guess I could. Yeah, maybe. If it's more about like the funeral and not about like, please hang out with me. Yeah. Wait, where are you going? To work. Somebody has to pay the bills around here. Damn, girl, you need to pay something. Because, uh... What kind of work do you do? I run the coal mine. Same as every Scarlet who came before me. I think you might okay. be doing a better job of it. Except for you and your mom. <laughs> well, fuck you. Maybe that's where the attention... I guess so. Can I come watch? <laughs> That's funny. Hashtag girl, Hashtag boss. girl boss. Can I fucking say that? Well, I want to know. Okay, the yeah, we have options. to explore. Yeah, I just maybe we can say hashtag girl boss. Can I come watch? I think it's really funny. I didn't know we owned a coal mine. Yeah, that was probably not the best way to say that. We don't own the coal mine. I own the coal mine. Your side of the family forfeited any claim to it years ago. Could you imagine owning a coal mine? Can I come watch? Wait, wait, do we have hash? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was down there. What? No, the mine is dangerous. I don't babysit you and do my job. Or can't. Sorry. Okay, that's fair. Hashtag girl boss. Hashtag girl boss. Damn, I can't believe you're only in your 20s and already running a coal mine and talk about hashtag girl boss. <laughs> She's gonna hate. Oh, look at her face! <laughs> I got an achievement for that. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, it's called that damned smile. That's so funny. 
Don't patronize me. I know you have nothing to your name, Big Daddy Boy. Don't okay. say that. I was being truthful. Let me look and see what this is for. Get your cousin to flash her pearly whites. <laughs> that's so funny. Love that. Oh god, that's such an awful smile. Any other inane questions before I leave? No, we're good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I won't keep you, but we should hang out when you get back. I'm just gonna let her go. Yeah, okay. Are we all set then? I'll see you tonight. Bye, Tabitha. Bye, bestie. Bye, bestie. Bye, bestie. Okay, she has left, and now it's just you in the sprawling, decrepit state. Okay. Oh, Go straight to the Forbidden we're Wings. We're going straight to the Forbidden Wing. Literally, first stop on this on this tour of this house. My own personal tour. There's no one stopping you from going into the Forbidden Wing of the estate. Oh, it's Except up. for the locks and chains. Okay. That's <laughs> Dang it. Fuck. There's another dog. Yeah, they got what dogs everywhere in this. Dogs. Is it the same dog, I wonder? PBJ. Let's get some food. PB and J. I head to the kitchen. And the Can kitty. we pet the cat? I'm gonna pet the cat again. I'm gonna go let's ahead and see, let you let's, be, let's see if she'll let us. You're back in the kitchen, ready to craft a, a beautiful peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's a daunting <laughs> task, given the state of the place, but the aggressive growls of your stomach outweigh the fear of food poisoning. That's hmm. fair. If only we had them peanuts. To get, oh, that's true. <laughs> to get started, you'll probably need to find some peanut butter, some jelly, bread, a plate, and a knife. That is generally what would approach the cat. The cat hisses as you draw near, but remains firmly in place. Okay. Fru-fru. Do you want some lovin'? So this is Fru-fru's spot on the counter. That's fair. That's so cute. Fru-fru, you're gonna... I'm petting the fuck back away, cat. back away, back away. It's your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what, is you, what does that achievement say? What, what were, were you, you expecting? expecting? <laughs> That's really funny. She bites you viciously. Honestly, what were you expecting? <laughs> Low growl. Look at she don't come back to you. Away. It's fine. Okay, fridge. Okay, wait, we need the cabinet. We need the plate first. <laughs> okay, it keeps the dish rear and oddly enough the utensils. That is a sus place to keep your utensils in the cabinet. I used to, wait, I used to keep my utensils in the cabinet in a cup like that because we didn't have enough room in my first apartment for everyone to have their utensils. That is insane to me. But that is fair. I mean, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. My first kitchen was very small for four people, so... However, this house is the size of, like, you know. That's true. The Biltmore Estate, and she's got her <laughs> uh, utensils in the... Uh... Examine the bug. Also, if anyone wants to learn more about utensils, I have this amazing Instagram account. <laughs> truly the best thing. If you want to know about utensils, follow my Instagram account. Hashtag utensil reviews on Instagram. Best account. Haven't posted in a while. Don't worry about it. I'll get to it again at some point. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so we got a plate and a butter knife. I guess that's what we need, right? Wait, let's examine stuff though first. Okay, okay. A bowl. Examine the mug. Examine the mug. The mug looks weird. I was blown away at Blowing Rock, North Carolina. I've been there. Have you? I've been to Blowing Rock. It reads, I was blown away at Blowing Rock, North Carolina. So your aunt and cousin actually traveled sometimes, even if it was only a few hours from the estate. But yeah. Hmm. Maybe you can route your return trip through Blowing Rock. It might be nice to see the local sites before heading home. Nice. Okay. Shot glass. Shot glass, shot glass. I survived Deb's 50th. Your aunt's name was Pearl Ann, so it wasn't from her 50th. Interesting. So the few stories you've heard from your mom, Pearl Ann... Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm good at reading. So if Okay, I'm good at reading. From the few stories you've heard from your mom, Pearl Ann wasn't the type to have kitsch... Kit... Kitschy? I've never seen that word in my I've life. I've never seen that word in my life either. 
kitschy friends. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna look that word up. I'm curious. Kitschy meaning. Considered to be in poor taste because of excessive garishness. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I guess that's a big garish. I don't know. Okay. Butter knife. Butter knife. That is a plate. All you need now is some actual food. Why would I grab a bowl? I'm going to grab a bowl. Moth trap, do not touch. That's disgusting. Whoops. Tasty. Your shirt is now unpleasantly wet. Okay. I'm going to need to remember to change my shirt. I'll try to remember to change the shirt. Because I don't want to go out places with a nasty shirt. You close the cabinet and look back to the rest of the kitchen. That I really freaks. wish it would give me <laughs> the option to pet the cat. We're going to be able to pet her eventually. <laughs> but I think us, um, like... Trying to pet her is like maybe we need to back away and she'll be like, oh, they respect my boundaries. Okay, that's fair. Or I could just force the cat to pet, to take the pets. You open the fridge. You already feel a deep urge to wash your hands, even though you have yet to touch anything other than the handle. Mmm, tasty. Old takeout. Why would I no. examine that? Check. Just mayonnaise. take the jelly. I'm gonna check the mayonnaise. Just. I have no. to. No. I ha This is literally my exact thought process. <laughs> you pick up the jar. It's labeled flaking in your hand. It expired 10 years ago. Fuck yeah. <laughs> this jar of mayonnaise is old enough to graduate the fifth grade. Also, another fun story for anyone that will ever listen to this or care. I had a... What was it? It was like cinnamon. ginger or cinnamon. A little you know, cup thing, jar. What are those called? A little shaker. A little shaker. That's the word. It expired in 1999. And this was like For three weeks ago that I found this. Context. We were born in 2000. We were born in 2000. This piece of cinnamon was older than me. <laughs> Absolutely blew me away. Because it was like, I was finding stuff from like 2020, 2019, and I was like, this is ancient. And then there was something from 1999. It's like, I don't know what the expiration date is, but like that's when it expired, so it's like, when was it bought? I feel like cinnamon lasts a while. Yeah, so who knows? It, it, literally not in this century it was made. It just blew <laughs> me away. Okay, put it back and forget I ever saw it. Uh, probably shouldn't look at the old takeout. Just take the so jelly. I will take the jelly. Okay, it's recent. Thank the good lord. Either purchased specifically for you, or jelly is one of the few things in this kitchen Tabitha actually uses. Good. Better close this fridge. We got bread and peanut butter. Let us find it. Pantry. Mm. Oh, there's so much peanut butter. And mac and cheese. <laughs> and so much mac and cheese. That's what my pantry looks like. Oh my like. god. Yeah, this would be your pantry perfect pantry. Like <laughs> if it was just Trader Joe's mac and cheese. Trader Joe's mac and cheese everywhere. Take... There's a little mouse trap down there, too. Okay, I'm going to examine the mac and cheese. It's craft. Craft? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. There's a dead mouse. Oh, there is. Holy shit. That would be fucked up, bro. Just, yeah. Just put oh my back. god. I'm gonna put it back. Yeah, let's put that away. That'd be really some hardcore shit to put the mouse in there. That would be fucked up. Take bread. Oh, great. Nice. I'm moldy. Not moldy. Peanut butter. Oh, I guess this is all Gift. moldy. This is so funny. Oh my god. The king of nut butters. And only 3% of each jar is mashed up cockroaches. That's what I like to hear. Delicious. That's a good percentage. Listen, if you can't see it, it does not affect you. 
This is the last ingredient you needed to make your PB&J. Time to get to work. Close the pantry. All right, the rest of the kitchen. Should we look at the garden? I want to look at the garden. Let's check the garden. Oh, wow. Whoa! That's crazy. So, we can venture Let's deeper. Let's go deeper. Explore the garden. This is so pretty. Got a nice pretty the cage. statues are gorgeous. So it's quiet out here. It's nice and peaceful. Okay. Oh. That's all we got. We're returning to the kitchen. There's a little greenhouse. All right, let's fucking do it. I guess it's time to make that BB and J. You have. Oh gosh, sorry. Despite the state of this horrendous kitchen, you have successfully combined your three ingredients to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Protein awaits. I protein, have protein. Cooking by we gotta way. achieve a few bacon to sandwich. A job well done. You're goddamn right. That's the damn truth. All of that hassle and it took you less than a minute to eat. Mm. That's why I don't like cooking. That hits hard. Done here. What do you want to do next? We need to go settle. Let's settle. Should change our shirt. Now that you find- oh that's right, I'd already forgotten. <laughs> the aches and pain of your journey have started to sink deep into your bones. You stumble up the stairs to your room, suitcase in tow. Eager to unwind before you face the rest of the day. With Lady D watching us. Yeah. Put your spare clothes in the dresser, take a nap, check the closet, look out the window, examine the painting. Let's let's kiss. Let's put our clothes away first. Let's put the spare clothes. Oh, oh there's a possum in there. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Hey buddy. If only we had bowl peanuts to give it. Gently smack um, the possum, grab the possum, close drawer. Oh, pardon me. I think me. we just, oh, pardon me, and close it. Put clothes Please. on top of the possum. No. No. That would be so fucking funny. Just what if to, we like, grab him and we can make, just ignore him? Can what I if we him? grab him and he can be a friend? What if we get bit by the possum? Please get out of my dresser. <laughs> you attempt to scoop it up. Oh, he's digging in. Oh. Oh. Oh, I spooked it. I'm sorry, buddy. Well, now we can pick him up. Okay. We could have put it outside, but whatever. Though, listen, okay. I've worked with possums. Wild possums. Their nails, they don't do that. Listen. That's true. Yeah, I would I not know. put my clothes in that dresser. But there's literally a possum right here, and my clothes are <laughs> right here. Like, how's he getting out of there, too? Maybe he's chewed a little hole. Let's check the closet. Oh, close it. Close it. Hmm. Close it. Hmm. Close it. Hmm. I don't like. I don't like her. Interesting. Of course you're sharing room with a creepy doll. You pick it up and examine it more closely. Its foot reads property of Alexandra. No need to carry this around with you. You are okay. goddamn right, sir. You close the closet behind you. Let's look at the painting. Painting? This must be an old relative of yours. Very old, judging by the date on the inscription. You've never heard of her, but you've barely heard anything about your aunt and cousin until a week ago, so that's not really a surprise. Maybe you should ask Tabitha about this Mary Bell Scarlet the next time you see her. That is if she's actually in the mood for conversation. Which she will not be. Let's look out the window. Look out the window. Oh. Oh, we got a pretty good view of the garden. I like the black. Like, the way they did that. Mm -hmm. It looks very cool. You can only imagine how beautiful the garden must have been in its heyday. If you owned this place, you'd totally get out there with a shovel and some gardening gloves and whip it into shape. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro. You go out and pull weed, chop trees, carve topiaries, and do whatever you needed to do to return it to its former glory. And once it was all done, you'd sit by the fountain, which of course you would have little goldfish in, and drink <laughs> a floral tea while enjoying the, enjoying the bird song. That's my ideal lifestyle. Just not right now. That would be ideal lifestyle. I'm fucking going to sleep. Oh dear. I don't like this angle. Yeah. 
You cough as a small cloud of dust rises up from the mattress. These sheets must be might be fresh, but everything beneath them must have been around to see the dawn of civilization. <laughs> you try to settle in, but the bed is lumpy in strange places, and you can feel the springs pressing through the fabric. Oh, mm. nice. So much fun. Here you might be tired, but you're far from tired enough to get in more than a few minutes of uncomfortable napping. Cool. Well, that's that. Might as well head to town. Heck yeah. Let's go smooch. <laughs> Urban Explorer. Okay. Before leaving the house, you rinse off and change into a clean shirt. Okay, it did it for us. Perfect. If you'd known you'd wind up having to walk all the way back to town, you probably would have just asked Tabitha to leave you at the bus stop. Especially with how unhappy she seemed to see you. Yeah, for sure. Must be a long walk. Oh my god. If only you could wipe the slate between the two of you clean and bury some of the tension. Though maybe her from Mother's funeral wasn't the best time for something like that. That's fair. Yeah, that's valid. Listen, if I had charmed her... No, she's our cousin. Maybe we could have something going on, you know what I'm saying? No, what are you... Stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm done. No, you're not. <laughs> it's really pretty out there. Here. It is very pretty. I like the mount. Oh, this place sucks. Oh, yeah, that's pretty beaten, beaten down. She's kind of, she's kind of rode hard and put up wave. You know what I'm saying? She's what? What? What'd you say? Rode hard and put up wet. I've never heard of that. You never heard of that? Oh no, man. that's a good old southern saying right there. Only from different parts of the South. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. I love that one. My mom says that all the time. <laughs> okay. It still has the feeling of an idyllic country town, but its sidewalks are cracked and many of the storefronts are boarded up. Their windows dusty with age. Now, if you ever want to go to a place that looks literally identical to this, you can go to Nichols, South Carolina. You can pull <laughs> up in there. And you can drive right through it and you wouldn't even know you went through it. Okay. A chill breeze sweeps down the lane, and you shudder, suddenly feeling as if you're peering into a grave. Oh, there's a dog! Oh, it's a dog! Oh, she's got a Mothman shirt. Alright, Gretchen. Oh, I haven't seen you around here before. The young woman is noticeably flustered by your appearance. It's a phenomenon that you, <laughs> as a hot, are all too familiar with. <laughs> oh yes, that's me, a hot. Sorry about Gretchen. She can be very slippery when she wants to be. Hope she didn't scare you. She's just a little pug. She's a little baby. Poor little thing can't hardly breathe, but it's fine. Pet the dog. <laughs> is that supposed to be a dog? We can absolutely roast No, this don't be dog. mean to the dog. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the dog. Pet the dog. Uh, oh, well, I don't want to pet it and get bitten. Well, tell a pug. She's so cute. I'm going to do this one so maybe I can... Uh, then I can ask if I can pet the dog. Oh, look at the dog. Thanks, she is cute. Sure, most of her teeth have fallen out and she's got a couple of weird growths. A 17-year-old a pug, she's pretty good. Hey! Yeah, that's a crusty ass dog. But good for her. That's too old. <laughs> Just be an absolute bitch. She's 17? That's gotta be really old for a dog, right? It sure 17 is. 17 is pretty old for a dog. Yeah, that's, that's really impressive. old for a dog. 84 in dog years. I'm hoping she beats the current record holder and makes it to 19. You got it, Gresham. With your tongue hanging out. There. Or better yet, 20. The more time we get together, the better. Isn't that right, Gretch? Well, damn, this is just cute. This is Stella. That's a pretty name. All right, Stella. Cute. It's not often I see a strange face up in here, up in the holler. Every now and then there's a new crop of coal, folks, but you don't look dusty enough for that. <laughs> oh, you, are you blushing? You aren't in town for the funeral, are you? The Scarlet funeral? Introduce ourselves. Yep, maybe, no. <laughs> None of your business. I think we should introduce ourselves. That might be best. Hi, I'm Big Daddy Boy, Stella. 
<laughs> That's me. You know my name? Big Daddy Boy. You must be Tabby's cousin, right? That's the only person I can think of who would come to town for the funeral. How's she holding up? I couldn't tell you, Stella. To be honest, I'm a little worried about her all alone up in that big house. I'm sorry, did you say Tabby? She seems alright. I'm worried about her. Is she always so... itchy? I didn't know how... She... Wait, I don't know how she's doing and I don't care. Amazing. Do you want to do... The Explorer just to see their relationship? Yeah. Can't imagine Tabitha ever going by something so bubbly. She did back when I knew her better. It's been a while. I hope she's okay. Damn, this is sad. That is sad. We got some like. What if they were together? <gasps> oh damn. That'd be really sad if that was the case. I'm worried about her too. Is she always so? I don't know. Okay. Maybe we should say I'm worried about her too. That would be nice. I think that would be nice. I'm worried about her too. She's always been a little rough around the edges, but I figured she'd probably oh be having God. a rough go of things. She She's and her just mom like Gabby. Really <gasps> the Bachelorette, that's what Hayden said about her. <laughs> oh my God, he did call her rough around the edges, didn't he? That's Full so circle. She even looks like Gabby, but... She does. But... She's not the one we're talking about, so I guess no. that doesn't make sense, but it's fine. Okay, so she did say she and her mom are really close. Mm -hmm. So, it's a good thing we didn't say Dead Mom Club. Yeah, probably, probably. Probably. It'll probably be good for her now that you're staying there, even if she doesn't think so herself. We'll befriend her. I'm going to force her to be my friend. Damn. Did I ask if they're friends? Are you two friends? I was probably closer than most people have gotten to being able to call her a friend. The school here is really small, so everyone had to at least get along with everyone else. Mm -hmm. She was a great ahead of me, but everyone knew her, especially since she's a Scarlet. We wound up bonding a bit when we were both in the school's production of A Midsummer's Night Dream. I was Puck, and she was Mustard Weed. <laughs> mustard Seed. No idea. What that is. <laughs> I don't. Is that a real thing? Yeah, I know it's a real play, but I okay. don't know the characters. I don't know anything about Text it. Text your sister. Be like, what's this? What's this play? What's a Midsummer's Night's Dream? A Midsummer's Night's Dream. As you might have expected, she was more than a little prickly, but I managed to soften her up a bit in the end. Well, that's <laughs> nice, Stella. But then she graduated, and that was that. The pug. He looks so sad. <laughs> He's got his little sad little eyebrows. <laughs> oh, if you just got in town, you must be starving. I was we just, just on my way it. to the diner, and they've got amazing biscuits. My treat. Ah, <gasps> date, date, date. See, here's the thing. If someone invites you to go to a restaurant, it does not matter if you had just eaten. You, you go, gotta go. You eat. Especially if they offer to pay for it. Because that's just a nice thing to do. Exactly. The pleasant aroma of greasy breakfast food hangs heavy in the air. In contrast with the empty, lifeless atmosphere of the family estate, the dinner diner is filled with the comforting din of human life. All of which grinds to a sudden halt as the patrons realize that a stranger has entered the establishment. Oh, they all turn to look <laughs> they at you. They all stare at me. <laughs> Better keep your eyes to yourself. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Big Daddy Boy. I'm Big Daddy Boy. What the fuck is up? The one behind the counter beams back at you. Oh, oh. She likes me. She likes me. Hello there, and welcome to the holler. You just let us know if you need anything, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're not politely giving a small wave as you instead of slide into the nearest booth. Oh, the dog. That's so cute. Look at his little face. He's sticking his little, his little face over. Looks like he'll probably be the talk of the town for a while. Yep. That's about how it goes. It's not often folks around here meet many strangers, and with who you're related to, well, folks love their gossip, you know? Just a little small team. Hey, Stella, I went ahead and fixed you up a coffee. They gracefully place a cup of specially brewed coffee in front of Stella. Oh, they have snake bites. Oh! That's funky. 
Oh, shook. Uh, their name's Avery. We got Avery up <gasps> Avery! in here. Avery. Here's some bacon for the little lady. Oh. Oh. We're going to give some. Oh. Look at that. That's so cute. <laughs> That's so good. I love that. Gretchen sniffs at the bacon and digs in. You can hit the H button. <gasps> oh, that's what I, I was just wondering. <laughs> there oh. we go. Look at her That's go. adorable. <laughs> I love that so that's much. That's so cute. Okay. Hot. Anything for you, Darla? Oh, is Avery hot? Oh. Are we going to, like, vibe in the hot? Avery. Avery. I'm not going to be that person. No. <laughs> Look at this <laughs> Gretchen is 17 years old. She deserves it. <laughs> she deserves bacon. If she's made it to this point, it ain't her. Exactly. Oh my god. Absolutely Stella says not. She's back to one of everything. No, no, no. <laughs> How much is the coffee? Order a coffee. Order a biscuit. Biscuit and coffee. How about a coffee Let's get... since we're tired? Oh, okay, okay. Or we can get coffee and a biscuit. I want to see the biscuits because she said they were. Okay. Okay. We, biscuit and... well, we only had a PGB and J sandwich, so you know. That's true. I, I could cool. always take a biscuit. biscuit. Biscuit and a coffee. Could I have a biscuit and a coffee. I heard that. Oh, Stella's winking at me. Isn't that cute? Oh, look at us. We're having the time of our lives. Best in the county. The, we bring you. We bring us the people back to. Oh, I'm sorry. Avery pours the fragrant brew into the empty mug in front of you. They linger after pouring your coffee, turning to you nervously. <gasps> oh, damn. Yeah. Oh. And we didn't know her, so it's okay. That's fine. Before you have the chance to respond, they're gone. Well, thank you for the help, Avery. Okay, so that was a good call. You had a good call. We got the biscuit. We got the biscuit. So Stella look at knows. look at Gretchen. She said her bacon's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I love how much time whoever the artist was took drawing all these different Gretchen faces. I love that. <laughs> anyway, the funeral's not till Sunday, right? That oh 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 Stella, Stella. That gives you quite mm -hmm. a bit of time to slum around town. I'm trying to think if there are any cool events going on this week. They're talking Heck about yeah. me. Look at this cop. He's got I his saw that, yeah. There's always the reading adventure at the library, which is supposed to be for little kids, but I do it every month anyway. I freaking like Stella, okay? <laughs> Stella's pretty fucking cool. Pretty sure Avery throwing a party Saturday night, so that's a fun ooh, thing to look ooh. forward to. Oh, well, the funeral's on Sunday. Yeah, that would be bad if you know sunday potluck well you know but the funeral is on sunday oh it's right after the funeral okay okay perfect is the potluck like a church thing okay i'm gonna ask that because i'm curious yeah are you a church girl no no the sunday thing is coincidental it's usually hosted at the library that's what i want to hear cool good deal stella not too many people go to church around here, if I'm being honest. Well, now that's uh, just... Yes. I don't know about that. Maybe they're part of a cult. <laughs> oh my god. See, that's what a I'm non thinking of. Non-religious community in the world, so... Where are they? Where are we located? I thought it was, like, north. Well, I think it... So that guy said or he was is... going to Maryland. Wait. No. So are we going down? Oh, we probably could have been going down. I thought we were going up, but maybe we were going down. And then there was that thing, he said that North Carolina wasn't far, or that Blowing Rock wasn't far. Oh, so. wow. mm, interesting. We must be somewhere in like North Carolina, Virginia or something. Yeah. That um, might come off a little strong. Yeah, maybe the first one. <laughs> okay, that's a good question. I'm not in a religious community in the rural south, that's unusual. Which is fair. We must seem like such heathens. Oh, Stella, it is okay, honey. Mm, it's yeah. okay. There are plenty of God-fearing folks in this town. They just aren't the biggest fans of the local church. It's a cult. Well, the building's okay, but the pastor's another story. There's just something a little off about the guy. Ooh. Maybe there is a cult thing. And unfortunately, you probably will. Well, he'll probably be running the funeral, so... That's true. Those are all the big events I can think of. That's, that's two of things, that's, Stella. There's three things. We got the library that party and the oh pop. and the party i forgot about the party okay this town's popping yeah this isn't too bad as for day to day any idea how you want to kill time for the rest of the week with you stella 
with you. What's it to you? No clue. I'm sure I'll be able to occupy myself. I'll probably just do what I can to support Tabitha. That might be the best option. But legs. But we need to be sweet. I think she would appreciate that. Okay. That's probably fair. I kind of assumed I'd be spending my time with Del Tabitha, but with how quickly she ran off today, I'm not sure that's going in enough for a full schedule. That's really sweet of you, but you're right. That'll definitely still leave you with plenty of time to kill. See? You want to spend some time, Tabitha? Hey, on. there we go. There Have we you go. thought about exploring the local trails? We can hook up in the woods. Oh my god, Stella. Are you a freak? Because Tabitha said not to bring anyone to the house. That's true. She's like, can I come to your house? And I was like, no, but we got the woods. Oh, Winnie says it's on the house. She sends her condolences. Well, that was sweet. Oh. You didn't have to do that. I like that. I like that, yeah. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Avery. It's delicate, fluffy, and nearly oh. crumbles at your touch. Buttery warmth emanates from its surface. Oh, my There's God. nothing better than a good biscuit. That truly is not a good biscuit. Should be here. You take a bite, it melts in your mouth as if it was nothing but butter suspended in a thin matrix of dough. Truly, this is the perfect biscuit. Amazing. <laughs> no, I've had but <laughs> I no. love that that's a lie. <laughs> Let's say the best biscuit ever. But that's not saying much. That, that's bad, isn't it? Just say, yeah, I guess we can just say, whoa. Okay. This is a really good biscuit, bro. So glad you like it. Avery lingers at the table for a moment. Mm -hmm. So has Stella mentioned she's famous? Oh. Stella? Do Stella. you have something to tell me? Oh, Avery, I'm not famous. I have... 300 views on TikTok. <laughs> it's not, I'm not famous. Look, if you're not going to go around tooting your own horn, you know I'm going to do it for you. Stella sighs. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Is she going to be like Buzzfeed and Solve? Like that kind of vibe? <laughs> what kind of videos do you do? Wow, that's rad. Okay. How does that make you money? You and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's ask what she does. What kind of videos, Stella? She hunts. She is BuzzFeed Unsolved. She hunts cryptids. I love that. You fucking called it. You should check out her channel, Big Daddy Boy. <laughs> I love that so much. I think the best video to start with would be the river one. Not the lake, but you know, the controversial one. Oh. The Catawba River Runner. Catawba Creek River it, it, that's yeah hold up hold up let me look at this I just want to know where we're at Catawba River because I'm North Carolina that. South Carolina South Carolina where does this thing go tell me Google where does the Catawba River go Well, shoot, we might be in South Carolina. Who knows? Oh. Or it's all around. Or it's, uh, nearby. Yeah, that's true. Could be like Georgia or Tennessee, something like that. Well, we're in the, the good old South Carolina. Or in the good old South. Just like the. We deep, in the South. We the deep South. We in the South. Wound up being her most popular video. So the River Runner is a cryptid that's only known from a single sighting. Two Boy Scouts thought they saw something big and weird in the Catawba River, and that's all I had to go on. But then I wound up catching this on camera. Oh my god. <laughs> Stella pulls out her phone and shows you a clip of something in a river. What is it? Some folks said it was a beaver, but if that were the case, it'd be at least twice the size of any beaver I've ever seen. Oh. I also had people saying it was a dog or even a capybara that must have escaped from a local wildlife sanctuary. Okay. I'm still not sure what it was, and I'm the only one... I'm the one who saw the thing with my own two eyes. Hmm. Really got a good mystery going on. I bet I could take it. <laughs> no! 
Oh my god. Whatever it is, you should leave it alone. <laughs> no, I no. think we should do the 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 honest the cryptid one. I don't believe in cryptids. Honest to God, goodness, critter. There's no way a capybara would be swimming in a river in the mountains of North Carolina. Well, there we go. We're in North Carolina. <laughs> so, unless there's some North American colony of capybaras in Appalachia, but that would still count as a cryptid, wouldn't it? <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, until somebody catches a capybara up here, that would still count as a cryptid by most standards. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Wow, and then it went to Twitter? Stella! Wow, Stella. Are you blowing up? There were polls for days. I ha even had actual experts weighing in. It was all a really cool experience. Wow. That's fun, Stella. I'm glad you have a little, a little hobby. It's some, some pretty great numbers. Okay. What's the view count? Personally, I'm a fan of the capybara theory. All right, Avery. Gotta, gotta blow the font. There's always people keeping exotic animals as pets. That's true. Especially in the south, yeah, I feel like. Where yeah, they just kind of collect stuff. Yeah, sewer gator type situation. <laughs> <laughs> Some exotic pet owners set it free and now will forever roam the Catawba, confusing Boy Scouts and YouTube commenters for years to come. She's so cool. She's such a vibe. Everyone here is just a nice vibe. So speaking of things to do around town, I was actually planning on filming this week's video tonight. I was wondering <gasps> if maybe you'd want to come along. Yes, Stella. Yes, Stella, please, I want to come. It's a pretty easy one this week. We wouldn't even have to camp anywhere. I'm going to go after the... Oh, we could camp, though. Wait, no spoilers. Oh my gosh. I would love to camp, okay. actually. You know, tent for two, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, sorry, Avery. Don't want to spoil the surprise. What if they're all actually, like horrible evil people yeah what if we get really murdered in the woods we are a little trusting of strangers i probably wouldn't be like yeah no i'm not gonna go out in the woods with you but she I... seems so cool but that's so, fair yeah. if i met somebody even if they seem nice i'd be a little sus if they were like do you want to go yeah. out in the woods yeah although that would be fun to do if it was someone with you that you actually knew yeah maybe we can go cryptid hunting i would love to do that truly like running around in the woods is so much fun <laughs> so uh, now that the coast is clear, I'm going after Skunk Ape. What the heck is that? That sounds familiar. What is this? What's Skunk Ape? What's Skunk Ape? What's a Skunk Ape? It's like Bigfoot, but smellier. Okay. Most Skunk Ape sightings are from Florida, but while I was doing research for last week's video, I came across a report where a lady from a town over claimed to have seen one on her deck playing tug of war with her dog. Mm. Okay. Okay. And as I leave, no stone unturned. Decided it was worth investigating. So what do you say? Want to tag along? Stella, I will go with you to the ends of the earth. <laughs> oh, that's fine. We can, hold, we can hold a camera. It's a date. Yes. I've been hoping you'd ask someone I heard cryptids. That depends. Will Gretchen be there? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Okay. It's a date. It's a date. Big daddy boy. Cool. Yes. That's hitting. That's hitting hard. This is going to be a lot of fun. I actually started with the channel with a couple of buddies of mine back in middle school, but it's just been me and Gretchen for quite a while. Oh, that's sad. If that dog dies, she's going to be absolutely crushed. Uh, if that dog dies, I'm going to be so sad. Me and Kanika and Reese running around in the woods, flipping over rocks and bothering salamanders. Our videos were terrible, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun, and that's all that mattered to us. So this is just like some wholesome goodness, you know? Maybe we'll get a chance to meet them later this week. Already meeting our friends. Mm, okay. So we should probably head out if we want to make it up to the mountain before it's too dark. Come on, let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh, I haven't heard someone say that in forever. That's some good shit right there. <laughs> Maybe it's time to make a good first impression. Leave a tip. I'm just leaving, I'm just leaving, well, you know, I'm just, what about just generous a tip? tip? We need Avery. Avery. We okay. need to move Avery. I'll leave a generous tip. Okay, $5 that's bill. $5 that's... is fine. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's like generous, you know? <laughs> That's just like you want to look nice, but you don't actually... It's not like dropping a hundred or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome of you. Avery will appreciate that, I'm sure. 
Damn, Stella. And like the jacket, like the Letterman jacket vibe, like it's such a, oh my god, we're, we're cooking. Hasn't been very cold when you first arrive in town, but as the sun dips closer and closer to the horizon, a chill descends upon the hollow, and you see your situation with renewed clarity. Gretchen is so cute. A little Gretchen, look at the needle, she got a little vest it. on. So cute. She's so cute. You're in a new place, far from civilization, and the people you know, following someone you just met into a dark forest in search of monsters. Yeah. You feel... I'm fucking living, bro. I don't even care. <laughs> it's, it's a vibe. <laughs> the orange hue of the setting sun painting the horizon, the promise of excitement ahead. It's been a while since you felt this in the moment, this present. The world around you feels almost magical. Were a, myth were a mythical creature to actually manifest in front of you, it would fit perfectly in this world. Yeah. Oh, and she's got the Mothman shirt. That makes sense. Yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. Gotta love this brisk fall weather. This past summer was the hottest on record since last year, at least. Amen. Why Gretchen look like that? <laughs> <laughs> Them legs going out. <laughs> what you doing, Gretchen? You know how it is these days. Each summer is the hottest yet until the next summer, which always finds a way to be so much worse. That's facts. This summer was brutal. Whoever the developers of this game are are very... I, I'm a big fan. I might have to actually oh, buy this it. if it um, is like good, because I'm really enjoying this yeah, so far. Me too, because it's, it's like three episodes unlocked for free. And uh, yeah, the rest of them or something yeah I forget. It's something like that. This is like the first free bit, but... um. It'd be very fun to play the rest of it, it depending on how long it is. It's just nice to feel a chill in the air and see the leaves change. Like, normalcy is restored, if only for a moment. Oh, Gretchen, she playing. <laughs> look at that look on her <laughs> face. <laughs> Sorry if that was a bit of a bummer. We should talk about something more fun, like skunk apes. Yes, I really don't understand what a skunk ape is. I've heard about this before. Like, I had a book that was like all the Carolina cryptids and stuff. and I, I think it was in that. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was like a real thing. I'll have to. I'm gonna look this up. I think up. it's a real thing. Yeah. Like. Um, are you really expecting to find anything? Do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids, like ghosts and whatnot? Has anything bad ever happened on these hikes? What's the weirdest thing you've seen out here? Well, that's a lot of good. Oh, I like the weirdest question. To, like, I'm yeah. sure we can ask multiple, but yeah. I got a lot. I like these. What's the weirdest thing you've seen out here, other than cryptid-related things? Oh gosh, that's a good one. Let me think. Well, there's always the deer I saw stealing baby birds out of a nest and eating them. That was pretty messed oh. up. Yep. But I think most people know about these, about that these days. I've seen tons of videos of other deer doing it, so I'm not sure if it counts as weird anymore. I've never seen that. Tetanus Tetanus Lake. Lake. Five foot deep, 30 foot wide pile of old cans and bottles and assorted garbage with grass and trees growing on it so you could barely tell it was there until you stepped on it. Oh, great. That's, not That's terrifying. It was practically solid ground with how much it had been compressed, but you could still fall through if you weren't careful, hence the name. That'd be terrible. Better be up on your shots if you want to mess around in there. You Get know your I'm up on my shots. shots. I got that shit like three months ago, oh my god. <laughs> I think it was tens. It was all stuff from the 50s too, which was super neat. I salvaged a few bottles that I kept on the dresser as a little souvenir. That's cool. I love a good, That's like, true. keeping souvenirs like that. You know, just getting, like, a small thing from a place you went. Let's ask if she's ever hunted ghosts. Ghosts. Demons, werewolves. Yeah, for sure. I used to go after all sorts of spooky stuff. I never had much luck, though, especially when it came to ghosts. Yeah. <gasps> we could be ghost hunters. Ghost investigators. Back when I first started doing solo videos, I'd go into all sorts of old abandoned buildings, hoping I'd stumble across some of sort of activity. But nothing ever happened. It was just me and my camera in an old house, getting worked up over a gust of wind or a creaky floorboard. But that is all the fun of it. You know? <laughs> the heat's. When all's said and done, I've just been a lot luckier with cryptids. I want to believe in ghosts so bad, and I can't rule out the possibility that there are really true hauntings out there. But if there are, I sure as heck haven't seen any myself. Aww. Damn, Stella. Maybe one day, you know? Werewolves I lump in with cryptids? I think that's true. Yeah, yeah. 
As for demons, I don't know. I honestly don't even want to consider the possibility that they exist, because if they really are out there, geez, a lot of people are doomed to an eternity of flames. Yep. So let's just all hope that's just punk, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> but what about aliens? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, let's really get into it. Did you see the UFO videos? The government declassified? Aliens are definitely real, and they have absolutely visited Earth. Like, I believe in aliens way more than I believe in cryptids. <laughs> Damn, Stella. We're really getting deep. <laughs> you don't see me hunting aliens out here because we know they're real. <laughs> Alright, girl. <laughs> if aliens were that. real, they would have visited me by now. <laughs> Can I say that? That's really funny. Oh, I like saying that's what the government wants you to think. That's what I would say. But they would have visited say, yeah. me. <laughs> I, like that one. I like that one. Okay, wait. No, the first one. That, yeah. And it's real. Fusion, huh? What does that say? I think it's Fusion doing hot. like a double. Oh, I guess, yeah. I see yeah, it. two trades. They'd be looking for the perfect human specimen and not to toot my own horn, but I've been called that three or four times before. <laughs> <laughs> Other people's words, not mine. <laughs> Maybe aliens have a different idea on what the perfect specimen oh, looks like. Oh, she's blushing. Oh, Stella. Oh. Damn. Look at Gretchen in the back. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like a dating sim right now. <laughs> it really is. It totally is forgot we were here for a funeral. I don't even care. I'm having a great time with this dating sim. <laughs> they have a particular affinity for truckers and late nights convenience store clerks, and that's why they keep. That's why they keep messing with them. Mm. Okay. Has anything bad ever happened? We can ask that. Has anything bad ever happened? Just curious. Hmm. Let me think. There was that time back in early high school when Reese fell down a cliff. Well, that's not good. I'd call that bad. But he was fine. We had some folks from town rig up a pulley to get him out of the ravine. And, uh, uh, Stella! That's pretty bad. That's, that's pretty bad! bad. <laughs> that's not... What is my phone doing? It is not being happy. I'm trying to... Okay. Okay. All in all, not too bad. Okay. Though I guess there was also that time when I was out here alone and kind of got stuck in a cave. That's also really bad. Are you really stuck in a cave? Getting stuck in a cave is like exceedingly bad. I was getting great footage of what I thought was a family of wampus cats, but I wasn't able to wiggle my way back out. Hmm. Okay. Turns out the wampus cats were actually skunks who very much did not appreciate me blocking the entrance to their hidey hole. Did oh no. Sprayed? Oh yeah. Instead of running for help, Gretchen just sat outside, bored to tears. <laughs> Lastly, she is not. <laughs> look at this look on that dog's face. That dog's got nothing in that head. <laughs> <laughs> nice shit up in there. It took about an hour to get loose, which is pretty intense, but a few tomato juice baths later and I was right as rain. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Skunks are actually the worst. They're very They're cute, but nice. do not want to get sprayed. No. Accidentally stumbled into old Duke's property and nearly got my head shot off. Stella, you need to Dang, be careful. Hey, Gretchen, <laughs> Stella. But that happens to everybody sooner or later. I'd barely count it. Okay. You say so. So yeah, these hikes aren't all that dangerous, all things considered. You, uh, okay. You say so, Stella. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Are you really I sure? I think we're good. Okay. Do you want to move yeah, on, just, or do you want to say one of Yeah, things? let's just move on. Okay. Let's move on. Let's keep going, Stella. <gasps> Skunk Ape? Oh. Uh, is this, what's his name? I don't know what she said. Dave? Same to you, Stella. You always jumping at nothing, girl. <laughs> oh, he's got a Duke hat. Oh my god, it is. Holy shit. I wonder They're... if the developers are from North Carolina. They're really getting all of, like, the actual property, <laughs> you know? This is crazy. I thought you were some creature of darkness. Nah, girly, just old duke. Now what the hell are you looking for, my <laughs> you? Skunk ape. <laughs> Sorry I asked. <laughs> Don't you shit on skunk ape. Who's this you've suckered into coming with you? Wait a tick, you aren't. Is that? Please, sir. Yep. I see you. Welcome to the holler. My condolences, I'll keep you in my prayers. 
You can take okay. your prayers and shove them up your ass. Now, both of y'all head on back to town, you hear? It's best you steer clear well of the... Oh, st steer well clear of this area tonight. I'm out dealing with my own critter and won't be too appreciative of a couple fools with a camera. Scare away the more sensitive wildlife. What are you hunting tonight, Stella wants to know. Something tall and hairy? Something musky. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her camera out too. <laughs> She's ready to go. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? You never could stay in your business, Stella Richmond. Put that damn camera down. Oh, come on, Duke. Maybe I could help out. I'm pretty good at tracking. You know I learned from the best. That you did, but I have yet to be a, see a shred of proof that you listened to any of it. The way you tromp around the woods at night, yelling about chunkabungas or what have you. <laughs> <laughs> chunkabungas. You know the chunkabungas. <laughs> Something's been getting at my chickens. I've lost three this week and can't afford to lose many more than that. Damn, bro. It's the chunkabungas. <laughs> They've been getting you. I'm so sorry to hear that. But huh, I wonder if Skunk Ape has a taste for chicken. Now see, this is why I don't come to you about these things. It ain't no Skunk Ape whatever the hell that is. <laughs> well, why don't you got your chickens more secure? For real, brother. Build your pen better. Bury your wire in the ground so stuff can't get in. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I know exactly what this is, but I know you won't believe me if I tell you. Oh my gosh, well, what is it? Tell us. You don't think it's... I do, actually. It's those damn mountain lions. Oh my god. I mean, maybe. I feel like you would know if a mountain lion got your chicken. They, Your chicken would make a lot of noise. Mountain lions are really big, too, right? Or they're, like, yeah. large. They're, they're not, like... They're large. That's gotta be tough to get into a chicken coop with a mountain lion. Those sons Unless he's got free roaming chickens. Oh, that's true. He could have that. I don't know why people do that. It's so dangerous for them. I know for a fact that's what's been getting my chickens. It couldn't be anything else except for a skunk ape. <laughs> or a chunk of bunga. A chunk of bunga. <laughs> Alright, yeah, no mountain lions in this area. I can't believe you go out there on your YouTube. Your, your YouTube saying some river monster <laughs> spotted by a couple of school age scouts has been 100% confirmed. You Appalachian cougars are some far fetched fantasy made up by geezers like me. <laughs> you made me look like a fool. I read those comments people were posting on your video. They were all calling me all kinds of names. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's tough, dude. But I just don't think it's plausible. You'll eat those words while I'm carry carrying a mountain lion corpse out of those woods at dawn. <laughs> what if he dies? He might die. Well. You know? He shouldn't be out in the woods trying to hunt a mountain lion. Trying to bond over sports. So you're a duke man. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Are you threatening him? Oh my god. Okay, I don't want to be Maybe we should. Here. Yeah. No. Well, what do you think? Let's read all everything. Okay, so we got Duke. We got threatening us. But we were here first. What if you find a mountain lion? Don't kill it. Right on, Duke. Kill that mountain lion. <laughs> Can't you just buy more chickens? Okay, let's go. Don't butt in. This is between Duke and Stella. Let's try to bond with him. So you're a Duke man. Yeah, well, I was born into the name. Why? Are you a fan? I'm more of a Tar Heels person myself. No. Listen, I'm a Tar Heels. Wait, no. No, I'm a Duke fan. I'm a Duke fan. Uh, One of my friends is a Tar Heels know? fan, and I always shit on them <laughs> for it. Okay. okay. Even though they're better, low key. But it's fine. No, no, no. Heck yeah, go Devils. Okay, I love all teams equally. No, let's go Devils, brother. Mm hmm. Damn straight. <laughs> Okay, so he's not going to let us stay out here even though we like these. Oh, All right, it's okay. We tonight. bonded. We bonded. Let's head out. We can come back some other time. You two run along and stay safe. Gretchen is just... Poor Gretchen. Wide-eyed. Devastated. <laughs> She's devastated. She carefully looks back the way you came. Okay, the coast is clear. There's no way we're letting Duke edge us out that easy. Oh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Stella! Maybe Duke, Duke is going after Skunk Ape. Oh my god, what if he is? 
Come what on, you I know a trail that'll let us around him. The hunt. <laughs> Jesus. Lead the way. Oh no, we are uh, headed back to town. Are you sure you don't want to like watch a movie instead? Let's fucking go, sister. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have anything to worry about from Duke and his shotgun. I've gone out hunting with him before. The man sounds like a truck crashing through trees <laughs> when he walks. <laughs> and if we do cross paths, we'll hear him long before he catches wind of us. I love that. We're about to get shot. We're about to get shot. The trail is just up this way. Let's go. Alright, this looks like a good shot. Mind holding the camera? Can I, like, keep it steady on her face or something? <laughs> Damn, still okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Um, as night falls, my new assistant, the gorgeous Big Daddy Boy, and I find ourselves on a high hill in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we'll begin our hunt for the elusive yet pungent skunk ape. Uh, is that because we're hot, maybe? I don't know, maybe. Damn. She said we're gorgeous. Damn. Imagine meeting somebody and this is what happens. Like, this is insane. <laughs> but mostly encountered in Florida, this possible relative of Bigfoot has been spotted all along the southeastern edge of the United States, including right in this very county. Here's hoping we get a glimpse tonight. We'll check back once we're on the trail. Until then, stay searching, Stellars. Oh, that's good. That's cute. We need a catchphrase for our fans beads what? bbs 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 <laughs> like bb yeah no that's but BBs. bbs i can take that camera off your hands for now we'll be able to start the tracking scenes once the sun sets all the way look at gretchen's little paws she's just she's just sitting there she's got a <laughs> paws all sprawled out <laughs> In the meantime, we get to take in all the beautiful scenery. It's gorgeous out here, don't you think? Oh, yes. Oh my god. I don't gosh. even do the rest of them. I don't that even one. need to read them. It's breathtaking. It's hard to take in all. Yep, yep, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, the view isn't the only one today. Yep. Oh, she's blushing. Oh, I yeah. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Stella. Listen, she already called us gorgeous. She called us gorgeous. See, that's that's what you need. Whenever you're starting a relationship, you just need the other person to just give you like a hint that <laughs> it's okay to say something like that. You know? She called us gorgeous, <laughs> then we can be like, oh my god, this is amazing. We gotta play Let's more see. dating sims on this. This is so much fun. <laughs> okay, I was thinking the same thing. Let the moment hang in the air. I'm <laughs> pretty stunning, aren't I? Gretchen's no, not Gretchen. Longer. No, <laughs> let's let the moment hang in there. Yeah, I think that's the best. Just let that one. Just let that one sit. Build up the tension. Both of you comfortably taking both each other and the natural world around you in. This is so cute. <laughs> oh, only for it to be is that pierced Gretchen? by a loud percussive snort. Your quiet moment was Stella. Yep, we know. Loud percussive <laughs> snort. Oh no, the skunk ape! <laughs> <laughs> Death has come for me at last. <laughs> Maybe oh, we should like remain that. silent. Yeah, I'll just stay quiet. Did you hear that? That's the sound deer make when they want to warn the rest of their herd about big scary predators like us. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're good. We're good. It's just a deer. Maybe that's what we heard when we were in the mountains. Oh my god. I don't want her to turn on that flashlight. That's gonna be scary. As you and Stella hear the footfalls of- This is a good angle though, like, I love this. This work here, that's good. Mm -hmm. Hear the footfalls of animals retreating into the woods, she reaches for her flashlight. Look at little Gretchen's face! <laughs> Gretchen is not thrilled. <laughs> oh. oh! He's got some bad tumors. A single deer remains behind, staring down the beam of light. While Gretchen whines and pulls at her harness. I think we should listen to the Gretchen. Okay, he got away. Poor deer? Yikes. That's when you call animal control, or not animal control, wildlife, and be like, hey, yeah. there's a deer. 
There's a fucked up deer out here with some very bad disease. What is it? There's like chronic wasting and then there's something else that's bad, isn't that right? Chronic wasting disease and then there's like um I cannot remember the name of it. It starts with an E. It's a prions though. Yeah, it's all very nasty. Maybe chronic wasting. Maybe it's the same thing. I can't can't remember. remember. You're too much of a potato and they don't make harnesses to fit potatoes, do they? (laughs) Damn. R.I.P. potato. There was something wrong with that fucking deer. Yeah. yeah. There was something wrong with that deer. Now that you mention it, there was something a little off. He had giant tumors on his face. Do you think, Stella? I bet it was an abscess, maybe a tumor. Well, somebody can put it down. So they just get bigger and bigger. Do you not have a wildlife rescue center? Or like game wardens? Somebody can go out there and do something about it. I know there's game wardens in the south. They have a whole show about it. I'm just going to stay quiet. Okay, so we're, we're steady going. Oh! As you settle down to rest, Stella breaks open a bag of assorted snacks. It's trail mix, extra M&Ms. Trail mix yeah. is incredible. Truly. I love trail mix so much. The best kind is the monster mix from Target. It is so Holy good. Shit. Whoa. Oh, let me see. What did you do? I oh. hit right click, which was apparently... <laughs> brings up this menu. Oh, that's a good thing you saved. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got our save, save in now. All right, take the dried apricots, take the sesame sticks. Tromix! Tromix. Give me that sheet. I like to mix my own to make sure it has the best stuff, and I use the dried cherries instead of raisins. Oh, I like raisins, though. I like raisins, too. I don't know if I've really had dried cherries, so. Oh. Maybe it's a bit of a controversial pick, but even as someone who's passionate about dried fruit, I simply cannot abide raisins. (laughs) Okay, that's fair. Maybe raisins are the best thing. Protein is protein. Haha, ha, yeah. I figured someone like you would gravitate towards those. I gotta turn my AC on because it is smoldering. <laughs> One minute. You're good. Oh, Stella's paw. She got a stick! That's so cute. The best part, the best character in the game is Stella 10 out of 10. Okay. Oh my god, Gresham is so cute. She's got a stick. She's got a stick. That's really adorable. This is some cute artwork. You and Stella settle down on an overlook, snack in hand, as the quiet sounds of evening wildlife wash over you. Gresham gnaws a stick, distracted for the time being. So, tell me what it's like in Big Daddy's City. <laughs> I'd forgotten about <laughs> that. <laughs> Do you have a house, an apartment? Do you live with family, roommates, pets? Look at Gretchen, that's so cute. She's going at it. Oh my gosh, she's getting it so good. Tell me what it's like to be Big Daddy Boy. (laughs) Oh gosh. You're not allowed to name any more characters. This is so good. I'm sorry. I really love it. I live in a closet in a house with 10 roommates. A studio apartment, a doorless basement that floods whenever it rains, an apartment with a difficult roommate, a 12 by 12 shed. <laughs> I live in an internet cafe. <laughs> These are all awful. Let's do let's do the studio. I got a studio. You know, say it's a mixed bag. You know, it's a mixed bag. Like my studio, it's nice to be alone, but you know. It's small. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, this yeah, this is what I was just saying. Stella's chopping on her stick. Oh my god, look at her. <laughs> it's like I'm stuck in a closet alone and ho- and no one can come let me out because I chose this for myself. Okay, well that's a little excessive, but you know. Well if he doesn't have anybody to talk to. The toilet is constantly getting backed up because the landlady upstairs keeps flushing her cat's litter. Why is she, why, she knows better than that? She's going to blow her septic tank. Yeah, that's a really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it's home. I do what I can to spruce up the place. I got a plant. You know how they say living things are supposed to brighten up a room. When you put it like that, I wonder if staying in an old mansion is a step up or a step down for you. 
Maybe just a step sideways. Have you tried looking up, looking for a different place, or maybe finding a roommate? Stella, we can be roommates. Stella? Stella, you want to be roommates? We can be permanent roommates, you know what I'm saying? You want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> Propose? <laughs> Propose right now? There's got to be a better apartment than that in a big city like Big Daddy City. <laughs> you know Big Daddy City. It's got the, the most high-quality apartments. I have enough room to for a lifetime. That this is, is such this fucking is your life. facts. <laughs> this really, <laughs> this is just calling me out right now. <laughs> I know it's possible to have a good roommate. I know people who are great friends with theirs. It's never worked out like that for me. This is exactly factual for me. <laughs> The loneliness is at least better than that. Hey, fucking man. Because I would rather wake up every day to my stupid cat than wake up to a large Republican eating my Hot Pockets. <laughs> and that's all I gotta say about it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I've never really had roommates. So I have no idea what it's like sharing a place as an adult. I can see that's being tough. Yeah. So what do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? Arts and crafts on Etsy. Programmable ads. So arts and crafts. First year associate of Big Streamer. streamer. I'm a streamer. <laughs> Student teacher service. Can I say streamer? Streamer. Okay. Streamer, yeah. I'm actually a streamer. Oh, no way. A fellow content creator. That's awesome. I knew we had a lot in common, Big Daddy Boy. We can collab. Collab. What sort of streams? Video games. games. Fuck yeah, video games. I mostly stream video games. That's cool. I have to check out your channel sometime this week. Yes. No, no, don't do it. You'll you'll like me less now, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect lifestyle. Most people I meet tend to raise their eyebrows when I tell them what I do, but I love it. I make millions. <laughs> it might not be much, but it makes me feel like I'm taking control of my own destiny. Believe me, I can relate. I don't think I'd give up what I do for anything. A crisp breeze passes. Smooch, smooch, smooch. Kiss, 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 kiss. I guess I'll ask her. Just to, yeah. She asked me, so I'll ask her. What's your living situation? Gretchen and I live in a little house just outside town. It's actually the house I grew up in, so it has a lot of pleasant memories attached to it, and I'm glad I could keep it in the family. That's nice. That is nice. That's a nice opportunity. Like, if you want to stay in a small town, then, you know, that's nice. Go for it. My great-great-grandfather built that house, and he must have done a great job, because it's just as sturdy as it's ever been. Do you live alone? I bet her parents have passed. Yeah, that's fair. Do you live alone? Yeah, the place used to belong to my parents, but they're not around anymore, and the holler's a small enough place that other folks don't need roommates. Yeah... Did they move? <laughs> oh, because they're dead? <laughs> God. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I think that's the only thing to say about it. Yeah. They're not around anymore. It's okay, you didn't know. Okay. Thank you. And I've done my morning. You don't have to watch your tongue around me or anything. Life goes on. Alright, Stella. Damn. Glad we didn't ask about the parents. <laughs> oh. Oh, my mom died pretty recently. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're members of the dead mom. Let's not say that. Absolutely. Why? Someone who was writing the, the dialogue thought of that, and they were like, I'm going to put this every opportunity, bear. and eventually the player's going to be like, well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's ask what they were like, because that's like? nice to say. They were amazing. Oh, that's sad. Two of the nicest people you'd ever meet, and interesting, too. My dad was a bit of a regional legend among hunters and trappers. He was always out in the woods on the trail or something, and we certainly had some interesting dinners because of him. He had nice. to learn to fend for himself, you see, since his family didn't have much growing up. So he learned how to hunt and trap and got damned good at it. He always made sure I had food, and I knew how to get it if I ever found myself too far from a grocery store. I could make us a pretty good salad with just what's in this clearing if I had to, though it wouldn't exactly taste great. <laughs> That's fair, you know? That's a respectable skill. As for my mom, she was a saint. She was the local vet, the lady all the farms in the county knew to call if their animals were in need of something. There's your girl. There's your girl, Bev. She was smart as a whip and strong to boot. Turns out pulling calves out of the 1,600-pound cows all day <laughs> is a great way Thanks. to build muscle. <laughs> Thanks. 
<laughs> she was gentle too. Even the smallest mouse. I could not read that for some reason. Even the smallest <laughs> mouse would get the proper care in her hands. But I'm sure she's most of the reason Gretchen here is one of the oldest dogs I've ever met. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Those are my parents. No <laughs> need to overshare. Oh my Like, I that's could... so harsh. We asked her. <laughs> I could never say that to somebody. Like, some of these dialogue options would make me feel so bad. I know. Unless that person was actually, like, oversharing. Yeah. Damn, you know, sometimes you just meet somebody and you just, like, you just click. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, shit. We found our wifey. Like, when we first met, you know, it was like, well, shit. We just kind of snapped together. What'd you- wait, what'd you say? When we first met. Uh. Stefan immediately packs I'm... her bags. Oh, wait, what? Wait, were you saying- I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out for hack how like, a little bit. You're good, you're good. What did you say <laughs> about us? Uh, whenever we first met, you know, it was kind of the same way, I feel like. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Good, you said something good. sweet, and I totally <laughs> was not That's listening. Fine. All right, Stella packs her bags. Stella, why did she, like, why did she say whoa? Did we hear something? Yeah, there was like a sound. Okay, okay. Gotcha, okay. Sorry. More deer? Please tell me that was a raccoon. What are we feeling? Maybe we shouldn't say anything just in case we spook it. Okay. Whatever made that sound, I've never heard anything like it, and it's close. Oh my God, Stella, okay. have we found uh, okay. it? Okay. Here, uh, okay. hold Gretchen's leaves for me, and let's check this out. I need to film it. Give me oh. the camera. Camera. You better hold on tight to Gretchen. Oh my god. Where's Gretchen? You and Stella inch towards the tree line as she shines her flashlights into the woods. Oh my god. A series <laughs> of weak clucks. Is it just gonna be like a duck? <gasps> Are we gonna get a pet duck? Oh, I got Gretchen's leash. <laughs> oh, maybe it's one of the chickens. Oh, oh no! Whoa. What was standing there? I have no idea what just happened. The tumor, the cat, the, whoa. The oh. chicken had a tumor on it, and then there was something standing there, but I, and then it dragged it off, and I didn't see what that was. I didn't either. I was looking at the chicken. So I was trying to process the chicken. Two or three feet tall doesn't look hairy either, so I think we can rule out skunk ape. Let me see. But whatever it is, it has one of Duke's chickens. Oh. It looks like it's headed north. Let's go after it. That's not. Do we have to? I'm just gonna follow her. What did that? S Wait, what did the second one say? I was on board with this whole thing, but now that we sound something. Oh, let's just follow her. I'm just. I'm with you to the end, Stella. Look at Gretchen. This is some. She's QR ready. Work. Look at her going. <laughs> <laughs> you follow Stella as she sprints into the unknown. Gretchen excitedly pulling you along by her leash. <gasps> uh oh. Stella, be careful. Catcher. Stella. Oh, there's the chicken. Oof. She slammed her face. We're gonna die all year. <laughs> oh, good. The monster oh, good. will get you first. <laughs> Let's ask if she's okay. Stella. I just tripped on something weird. Oh, no. That poor thing. It must have been one of Duke's. Oh, Jesus is still alive. Oh, I don't want to kill it. Don't go I don't think her. we should go near it, but don't then we need to her. investigate it. That thing is diseased. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with wild birds. She's not gonna touch it, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Not with my hands, at least. What? What the fuck does that mean? What, are you gonna poke it with a stick? Yeah, seriously, she takes me out here and we're like, seeing horrible things. Yeah, I swear it's not normally like this. We can go home after I film this, if that's what you want. Well, you damn. can't put that on YouTube. Don't put that on... Wait, what? Oh, that's true. Yeah. A dying chicken. Well, I don't want to be the say... reason you go home. Let's just say we can keep going, I can I keep going. We're going to end up getting ourselves killed. Seriously. I'm hesitant to speculate, but she definitely seems to have some sort of growth under her skin. Well, that's abundantly clear. I don't think that's speculative. I think that's just factual. <laughs> that there is a growth of some sort. Could be a tumor, could be something else. 
either way, I don't think there's much that can be done for her at this point. That sucks that you just have to leave. Gonna have to put up some massive content warnings. Yeah, like you should probably. I don't know. But then it's like I don't know. You don't have like, I wouldn't want to touch it. You oh should tell God. Duke it's there. There's whispering. I can't hear any of the sound. Shit, that's probably true. There is whispering <laughs> going on right now. Okay, you can tell me when there's stuff. Oh, there he is. What in the Sam Hill are you doing out here? I didn't I tell you to. Like your chicken. Uh, birdie. <laughs> Not birdie. No. Uh, oh, birdie. Oh, what's wrong, darling? Good God. <laughs> that was really good. Did y'all see what did this to her? Damn, okay. Chill out, dude. We're not gonna threaten him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's it say we told we caught a glimpse of something. Yeah. We caught a glimpse of something earlier. When we chased it, it brought us here. Whatever did this to her, I think we can hear them in the trees. Oh my god. Put that camera away, for God's sake, girl. I don't want to be in another one of your videos. No one needs to see me like this. Oh... Yeah, you can't do that. That's sad. She's right. She cannot be content. Duke, did you hear me? I think they're coming closer. Oh. Oh, God. As long as Gretchen's okay. Come at you, sons of bitches. <laughs> Duke, don't shoot them. We have no idea what'll happen. I like that he's holding a shotgun with one arm. He's manhandling that thing. Oh god. You hear that, Stella? That ain't the sound of something peace like. Whatever these things are, they'll pay for what they did to my girls. They're just chickens. Not to diminish the lives of a chicken, but you don't. It's not something to get yourself killed over. Some people really are whack about chickens. Come on, you. Like, I understand. Whatever your name is. You know? Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, I don't know. Like, it'd be sad, of course, of course, but you don't need to, like, risk yeah. your life. That's true. There's some really awful whispering going on. I just want to tell you, too. It's, oh, like, God. awful. <laughs> I'm glad I don't hear that. I okay. don't like whispering. Look at Gretchen, too. Gretchen looks terrified. <laughs> That's got to be the thumbnail. Just zoomed in on her Just face. zoom in on this right here. <laughs> That's hilarious. As the creatures in the tree line grow louder and more numerous, Gretchen violently strains against Gretchen her Gretchen says, we need to get out. It's time to leave. Quick, they're closing in on us, Duke says. Let's run. Tuck Gretchen under your arm and die for the flashlight. Yes. Yes, yes. Keep Gretchen. I'm so glad we, we did that so we can... Oh my god. Ooh! You heroically dive forward, tucking Gretchen under one arm and grabbing the flashlight with the other. This is your moment. Every pull-up you've done, every hill you've sprint you've ran, every meal you've eaten, all of them have led to this. Oh my god. Why I said aim the damn thing. Like is this a person that's like mutated? I don't know. This is awful. This really took a turn. I was having fun with the dating sim and now we've got now we've got this shit. <laughs> Light up the woods. Burn that thing, brother. <laughs> oh my god. Oh fuck yeah. We shot in the ass. <laughs> Just grazed it, but that should make it pretty easy to track, eh, Stella? Amen, brother. Guess we know it wasn't mountain so was lions like, oh, after all. This is fun. Yeah, she's like, oh, cool. <laughs> Though it didn't look like any cryptid I've heard of either. This is going to be one hell of a video. We've got to go after that while we still have a chance. Um... Thanks for taking Poor care Gretchen. of Gretchen, by the way. I can take her from here. Like, would Dick Gretchen have died if I... That's what I wonder. Or she would have ran off. Or so, yeah. I'll be damned if I let her chase after those things alone. So I wonder if we had done like talk to animals, if we could hear what Gretchen was saying and what the cat was saying. Oh shit, I forgot about the talk to animals. Damn, yeah, we thought of it so fun. Shit, I want to play this game again. Okay, although you have no Maybe choice but to speed follow. Run it. Yeah, I might could speed run it and just get to the good parts, but like, this game is really well done. I'm, I love really this good. so much. Guess I'll die. Guess I'll die. <laughs> That's what I Can would I say. say that? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it. Guess I'll die, you think to yourself. A coward to your core. That's val- Okay, that thing is horrific. I would never go any- Go after it. Like, I'd be like, that's the woods problem. I'm gonna I'm head out. That's none of my business. 
If you're going to die, it might as well be on your feet, surrounded by other people, rather than in the woods alone by monster or slow starvation. You steal your nerves and run after Duke and Stella. Damn. It wouldn't <laughs> let me just stand there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! These are all Gretchen. Gre oh my god, Gretchen is not having a good time. <laughs> oh, her poor little eyeballs. As you push deeper into the woods, the unearthly sounds once again surround you. Are those the things that are whispering? Uh, yeah, I think so, I guess. They're making, like, a little lot. awful... This one has, like, little short fingers, and this one has very long fingers. Yeah, they're, like, very mutated and different looking. And they're, like, long. Yeah. Just I don't think we them. need to say anything. I uh, yeah, you say I think everyone... There's nothing that needs to be said. Everyone understands what's going on. Oh, why is it sitting like that? Oh, my God. Poor Continuing Gretchen. With grim determination. Yeah, Gretchen is not. She's gonna be fun. traumatized. This took a turn so quick. It We're really supposed did. to be here for a funeral. Like, dear God. I'm just out in the woods with a random person that I've never met before. We just met. Can we imagine when we tell Tabitha if we survive? Oh God, I haven't even thought about that. Yeah, Tabitha's gonna be like, "What the fuck happened?" And you're gonna tell her this. <laughs> I saw this. <laughs> Oh, wait. They have like six yeah, fingers. they have six fingers. I was just saying that. Saw that Some thing. of them have four, though. This is fucking freaky. Damn it, girl. Oh, Are you trying god. to get us oh. lost? Slow down. Look at the teeth on that one in the top right. Oh my god. And the arms. And this one on the left has like four or five. Yeah, limbs. he has a bunch of limbs. That's that one crazy. only has like two. That one has. Oh, there's a little teeny one. A baby. A little baby. It's just a family. There's a clearing up ahead. I think I'm gonna be sick. That's fucking Ferristella. Lord, I would smell. have a breakdown if I saw this shit. My brain would fracture. Oh no! Oh god! Um, the shrieks pull back into the Should you whispers. hide the screen? Should I? I don't know. I That's okay. kind of gruesome. Okay. I'll put a content warning on the video. Or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Um. Stella and Duke stumble upon the putrid bodies of dozens of dead and dying animals. A sinking realization pulls at your guts. This is your net. This is their nest, and you are surrounded. They've lined them up so neatly. Oh, oh. my god. Oh. I can oh. take them. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Can I say that one? I'll no. beat the shit well, out the of rest, bitches. What's the rest of the options? I think we need to leave. Holy shit, and also, what do we do? I mean, I we guess, why aren't they on top? I think they're, like, um, mutated humans. I'm gonna, yeah, we need to go. At this point. We need to leave. It's time to go. The kid is right, Stella. They're circling us because they're protecting their brood. You're chilling. Just look at the little teeny one in the back. <laughs> oh, he's so small. <laughs> he's just a little guy. Like, don't ever talk to me or my son again. <laughs> we have to get the hell out of here while we still can. Let's go. I think I've got plenty of footage. Yeah. You're going to traumatize the internet. Just as you follow Stella and Duke in a mad dash through the woods, so do to the unearthly hollers and whispers of the nest. That one looks like a frog in the top left. That looks like oh, a frog. Oh, he does. Too. He's a little frog boy. <laughs> In the highest branches of the tree and down on the forest floor, they're all around you, casually keeping pace with your all-out He's gonna sprint. snatch Gretchen! Quick, oh, my I truck's down this way. Places. Look at the little grubby hands in the corner. Oh my god. Oh no. You make it to the road, tails. but three of the creatures stand between you and Duke's truck. Duke, what you got that gun for, my guy? Yeah, this is not pew, good. Pew, pew. Clear a path. Can I do it? Can I clear a path? Uh, we could try. Oh, I think they want birdie. I'm clearing a path. But we can try to save her. Okay. Stay back. <laughs> what are we going to do? Body all. slam them? <laughs> oh, I don't want a close up on them. We got a nice close up. Punch the fuck out of them. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. You plant your foot Squelch. firmly in the ground and throw your body towards the abomination to your right. Your first firmly connecting with a powerful haymaker. His body feels wrong, as if your blow had just collided with a bag of loose organs instead of with a living creature. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. 
Oh, yeah, he's only got fuck. two toes. He's a little bird dude. He's got a little butt. He's a little bird. Oh yeah, he's got a little booty. He's got a little. Booty little they all have little booties. <laughs> I am the dominant species. <laughs> I am the alpha male. Get in the truck and let's get the hell out of here. Stella? No, we are taking the truck, Stella. Shut let's, up. Let's let's go. Do you not like driving or something? Oh, maybe her parents are in the car. Yeah, crash. maybe. You find yourself outside of Stella's house. Stella, can we stay with you, please? Yeah, like, actually, though. We're traumatized. I don't want to stay in that scary house. Very traumatized. Thank you for taking me home, Duke. Anytime. But Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what were those things? I They're no really idea. chill for people who just saw those. Yeah, I'd have... We'd, like, if we were... If I knew three people... And we all saw some shit like that. Like, we have to sit down for a long time and talk about <laughs> that. I've never heard of anything like them, but I've got a ton of footage. Nothing really clear, but it's a start. Let me know if anything happens with Birdie, all right? She's going to be fine, you hear? What if she mutates? I don't know about that. Oh, shit. Maybe that's what it is. I better go check in with Bo. He'll be worrying about me. You and your friends stay safe. Does he have a husband? Do you have a husband? Well, no point in talking about the butts. Just look out for yourselves. Take care, Duke. Oh, obviously we're staying. Yeah, I'm not going to give the option. <laughs> I can walk home if I need to. Or I can It'd call Stella or something. Yeah. Stella's not saying anything. So. And here you are, back in town away from the woods, with no one but Stella in sight. Your phone buzzes in your pocket. Now that you're back in town, you must finally be getting a reception again. Oh, Tabitha. Where are you? Where the hell did you go? Six missed calls from Tabitha. She can... Chill. We don't need to worry about it. Let's call her. I'm going to text her. How about that? Okay. Because it's like, it's fine. We should call her. Call her. Okay, fine. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's tell her that Tabitha seems worried. I think Tabitha knows what's in those woods. Maybe. Yeah, this was interesting, Stella. I can't believe you punched one of those things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you saw you, that, baby. did you? You saw, me, you saw me punch the shit out of that thing? Okay, so we got some questions. Felt like hitting a bag of organs. Okay. Felt like hitting a bag of organs. We can give her some info about it. Yeah. Look at, look at Gresham. <laughs> a little face. Dang, and here I thought skunk ape sounded gross. What about Let's this? Ask her. I don't, yeah, I don't know if we, well, obviously it's trauma, so I don't think we should talk about it. Okay, that's fair. I'm going to ask her what she made of everything we saw. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen or read about anything like this. Although, maybe. We've got to find out more about those things. The library I doesn't open for a while. Do you not have Google? Google. My friend's mom. Her place isn't far. We should head over now before it gets any later. Uh, we can go tomorrow, it? Tabitha. We can have a nice night. I meant Stella, not Stella. Tabitha. Yeah, I was confused too. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm going to bed, bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Let's say let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. I just knock on this woman's door. I know it's so late. Poor Gretchen's tired. Her little legs. She Gretchen can only is, walk so far. She's ready to give out. She can't even breathe. Question mark big daddy boy. What in the world? Oh my god. Did Stella hit there too? I guess so. Oh my <laughs> god! What is that? It's... You didn't hear it approach. Maybe we should have gone to bed. Welcome home. Thanks, bestie. Before you can respond, the door behind you swings open. An older woman stands in the entryway. Go home, Wayne. I can't help you tonight. Oh. 
You look back and the figure okay. has already gone, disappeared into the shadows of the night. Wayne's just creeping. I'm sorry about that, Stella. Some people just can't be helped. Lady, you got uh, some explaining to do. That man looks like he murdered somebody. What brings you out here so late? And who is this? <laughs> I am Big Daddy Boy. I am Big Daddy. Yeah, this is Big Daddy Boy. Hi, Mrs. Forsyth. <laughs> this is Big Daddy Boy. Is it okay if we come in? Of course, of course. You're in luck. I just put water on for hibiscus tea. Delicious. Oh, we need some tea after everything we just saw. Oh my god. And for goodness sake, you can call me Sybil. You're an adult now, after all. Welcome to my little Oh, nook. I love her vibe. Tea is life. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> you got such a vibe going on. Welcome to my little nook. It's nice to finally meet you, Big Daddy Boy. I was sorry to hear about your mother. Oh, thank you. Vivian was such a lovely soul, and she's been sorely missed in the holler. And now poor Perlan is gone, too. Do let me know if there's anything you need while you're in town. Well, do you want to stop here? Yeah, we can stop going? here. This is a good place to stop. This is a good... We got... You know, we meet met a lady. We've seen a lot of shit. We've um, chilled out after we've been traumatized. Yeah, savor. Character history. Oh. No. Oh. Interesting. This is really interesting game though, and I'll definitely look into buying it if uh Yeah, we can play the first three episodes and yeah. see what we think about it. Cause I'm yeah. I'm really interested. This, this is, is really crazy. exciting, and I was not expecting that turn. Oh absolutely not. I didn't think it we would be like episode like three until we got there. Yeah. Until these horrible things came. <laughs> um, a lot thickens. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Anyone that. Yes. Thank you tuned for tuning in. in. Uh, oh, that exited the whole game. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the end of the stream. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye everyone.